Okay, it's showtime. Are you ready? Uh, we've got some uh, data just coming in right now. So we're about to refresh that and bring that on the screen. It's uh, time for uh, our show today. Okay, let's go. Here we go. Good morning, good afternoon, breaking news as we speak and start the show. Here we go. By six basis points, getting back to about 4.37. The high of the year earlier this week was 4.42.74. We've been all over the place this week, but off the back of the jobs report, yields up, dollar stronger. Switch up the board and get to the euro. The euro breaking down to about 108, just about holding on to that level. 108.10, we're negative by about a quarter of 1%. Going through the numbers here, Lisa, 303k against an estimate of 214. Wage growth, even though jobs beat, comes in in line with expectations. So the question you've got to ask as you work through this data, does it change the overall theory, the thesis at the Federal Reserve right now, that they don't have to worry about strength because it's not coming with big inflationary pushes higher? That's exactly where my mind went when I saw how little, frankly, the bond market reacted to this. If you believe that this was a really a headline-driven number, you'd expect a bigger sell-off in the bond market. You are seeing yields climb, but it's not an unward kind of climbing. If you look at some of the revisions, they were not revised downward so much last month in terms of just the headline numbers. This is a market that is creating an incredibly above average number of jobs. I will just note this. Business as usual. Uh, the, the, the revisions for last month's wage increases were revised up. So when you start to put this together on the margins, it's a robust labor market that does still have that inflationary pressure underneath. I'll go through the headlines and Mike can give you the details. So we come in at 303,000, the estimate 214. If you're looking for unemployment, that came down to 3.8% in line with expectations down from 3.9. Wage growth month over month, the estimate was 0 0.3. We got 0 0.3. Mike, you've had a few minutes to chew over it. What are the details that jump out for you? Well, the biggest detail that jumps out for me is the household survey employment number. It's been negative the past few months, and people were suggesting that was perhaps a reason why the story of immigrants coming into the labor force wasn't true. We had more people employed in the uh, household survey mm. than we do in the establishment survey. 498,000. It's a mixed bag this morning. After three months Doesn't really in a tell row us anything. Negative prints. Unemployment down by 29. Not much 000. we can draw so from this. We'll come back to it in a few moments. But uh, the, uh, the, the markets aren't numbers. really reacting we negatively to it. Right um, as you can see, I bought yesterday. I'll tell you all about it in a moment. And I'm glad I did. I got it right. So I'm very happy so far. OK, let's uh, read the questions here. More Nicola news. More Nicola news. Mr. Mankey, send it into uh, links for YouTube. Mr. Mankey, is it in there? Is it in there? Uh, Kevin B, I don't see any information uh, on any... Um, I do see some Fisker news. I don't see any Nicola. Mr. Mankey, send it into uh, Discord. Links for YouTube. I will send it. Um, I will put it out, make a video on it. Um, Martin, I am outraged. I don't have a badge on the extra channel. Any chance we can get a membership and a fancy new badge on the extra channel? Well, there's information imminent about that, uh, GoDB. They are completely separate channels. Um, they are, they have their own, uh, you know, their own systems, uh, completely separate. Um, and, uh, I've got some really exciting news about, about to be released. Um, I'm just waiting to uh, be able to tell you it's not quite there, but there's something really good that's going to ben benefit everyone. Um, but you ask a very, very good question and, uh, you're not the first uh, to ask it. 
and uh, there's some really exciting news about to happen. It's imminent, um, but uh, it's not quite there yet. But when it comes, it's going to be fantastic. You're going to love it. I can't wait to announce it. I can't wait to tell you what it's all about. Um, but uh, it's going to be a members-only benefit to the members of this channel. Um, something really, really cool. And uh, I'm working on it. It's it's virtually ready. Um, I'm just waiting for, uh, for approval from YouTube and we'll be good to go. So I, I have uh, understood, taken your comment, and uh, it's about to get really, really cool. So uh, bear with me. Hi, Henrik. Good morning. Stock news. It's there. Stock news. Stock news. Yes, but I'm looking in links for YouTube. Links for YouTube is what I'm looking for. If I don't see it, I can't bring it on, can I? Um, uh, da, 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 Lee's EV big boy test the river and in the dust with 40% year-to-date gain. <laughs> All right, Nicola. Um, let me just check this a minute. What have I got here? Um... Let me just read a minute. Okay. I like that. That's a really cool headline. All right. Okay. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Uh, I can't handle the pressure. Um, uh, Stacy Bailey, I can't handle the pressure. It's going to be great. You're going to love it. Um, I'm absolutely sure you're going to. Let, my commitment is to you. The members always has been, always will be. You are the show. You're the family. You're the success of all of this, and I understand that. And uh, I'm going to make sure that the everything that happens is for the benefit of the members. Okay, and uh, we're about to announce it. Um. Okay, let me let me do this then, right off the top of the bat. So it's seven minutes. This will go out later. Um, NKLA, uh, seven minutes. Okay, um, let's bring it up. And I've got lots of announcements, lots of reviews today. Uh, so much to do. It's, it's virtually impossible to get it all in to the show, to be honest, but uh, I'll do my best. Okay, here we go. Breaking news here this morning for Nicola on the show. Got a really, really interesting bit of news for you this morning. And uh, Tesla, uh, Tesla, uh, Tesla boys, Tesla investors, look elsewhere. You won't want to see this, but it's a, it's a, it's a very cool thing. If you are a, a Nicola investor, you are loving this news. So the money printer is on at the moment for Nicola. This is exciting news. You are making money. It is stacking up. What is the news? Well, I'm going to bring it to you without further further ado right now. You're going to like this. So Nikola today again is up. Why is it up? Well, this doesn't, this doesn't, uh, this doesn't uh, go against it. This doesn't, this certainly uh, helps. This penny stock EV leaves the big boys, Tesla, Rivian and Lucid in the dust with 14% year to date gain. What are we talking about? All right. Uh, the company's share value dropped from two to one in 23 due to several setbacks. The company also witnessed leadership changes with uh, Steve Gursky replacing Michael Lonchler as CEO in August. But what is it? Let's focus on to it. You're going to love this. Uh, e uh, e Nikola investors are going to love this news. EV truck maker Nikola. Uh, up again today, delivered 40 hydrogen fuel cell electric trucks in the first quarter, leading its shares to rally over 6% on Thursday, given the low share price. Even small increases translate into large percentage gains. But notably, Nikola's stock is up 14.46 year to date, unlike most pure play EV makers whose stocks have been falling. Look at this. Very nice today to report this news. If you are an investor from Nikola, you are very, very happy right now. Uh, let's have a look. Not a, a, not an easy climb back up. However, Nikola's path hasn't been smooth. The company's share value dropped from over $2 to one, uh, to below a dollar in 23 due to several setbacks, including multiple fire incidents with its battery electric trucks, a, sub a, a subsequent recall and ex uh, executive reshuffles. We know all about that. Nikola started delivering battery electric trucks before its hydrogen fuel cell trucks. However, the company recalled these vehicles 
vehicles in August following multiple fire incidents. Uh, new BEV truck sales are currently halted as Nikola focuses on returning the recalled vehicles to customers. Management shuffles. The company also witnessed leadership changes with Steve Gursky replacing Michael uh, Loscheller. I'm sorry if I've got that uh, mispronounced that as the CEO August and Anastasia Pastorik resigned as the CFO after just a few months. Last month, former General Motors executive Thomas Ocre was appointed as the new CFO. For the whole of last year, Nikola produced a total of 38 trucks, less than 258 it made in 22. It reported a total revenue of 35.8 million and a gross loss of 214.1 million, higher than the 86 million loss reported in 22. However, the stock has been on an upward trend since the start of 2024, likely due to the sales of its hydrogen trucks and the anticipated return of its recalled BEVs. In February, Gursky stated that deliveries of fixed BEV trucks would restart in late Q3 of uh, early Q4 of 2024. All recalled vehicles are projected to be back with customers by the end of Q2 or early Q3. Very nice indeed. So we see a nice little rally here with Nikola. Can this continue? Well, I do believe, and I did say when I first started looking at Nikola, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't liking it. I was looking at the old management, the old style, all the issues of the past. I believe that's been sorted now. So I'm much more bullish on Nikola. Full disclosure, I only own the S&P, so I don't pump and dump stocks. The definition of pumping a stock is when you pump to dump it, make a profit from uh, spreading information. I don't ever do that, never will do that. I'm here for my members to provide the best service, to provide live news and information. This is great, however. I do believe that Nikola has got a good path forward now. I do like the hydrogen model. I think they're best placed to capitalize on it, and this is great. However... People have lost a lot of money and a lot of faith along the way, and they treat the stock as a bit of a cash machine. And the moment it pops 10, 15, 20%, they sell. And to be quite honestly, you should at this stage as well, because if you can make what you can make on the S&P, which is the benchmark for anyone to beat, the, the best people in the business can't beat it. So if you think you can and you think overall per year you are better than anybody else, then fine. But uh, mere mortals like me don't think we can. So if you get a 10%, 15% profit from it, why would you not take it? At the end of the day, what are you here for? To make money. If you can beat the market consistently and keep making 10% profits over and over again. However... I want to say that that will eventually change. When we get above the sort of $115, $2 range, then things will start to settle down. But right now, as long as we're under a dollar, we're in that delisting territory, we're in that over-the-counter image, it doesn't look good. We want to be above a dollar. So around this around this point, you can get 10 15%. Why would you not? At $2, you can start looking at it as a long-term investment. Anyway, good news for Nicola. Click above my head, down below here uh, in the description, more links. Over here, you'll find the extra channels where I'm live 12 hours a day, and we're about to get a major upgrade for all members. You you are going to love what's about to happen. It's going to be fantastic. I'm going to announce it very, very soon. You won't want to miss it. You'll want to be a member when this drops. Trust me, it's the best thing ever I've had on the channel. I'm really excited about it. Anyway, there you go. So click above my head, down over here, and over here, more information you'll find on Nicola and other things. Until then, as always, take care of yourselves and each other. Great. Now then, uh, my portfolio is doing very well. Let me update you. We've got some reviews to do. Best form of defense is attack. Mr. Mankey, drop that into stock news. Right, let me have a quick look. Now then, last night, as you know, uh, I always, always, always tell the members first, tell everybody first what's going on. I have videos that drop for the members first. I post it on my X account. My members can follow it. Yardastick, I'm glad you're here today. Uh, your mug um, uh, uh, for... Um uh, Lance Strength is ready this weekend. Uh, it'll be going out this weekend. So Jardistic, I'll be in contact with you shortly um, about, about that. So thank you very much indeed for your support and supporting Lance Strength. I wanted to update you. Okay, now then, uh, let me just read some of the comments here. 
let's have a look. Let's go through. I can't handle the pressure. Morning, Martin. Jason D Davis. Happy Friday, everyone. Nicola is going to sue EMBR for rights to the Badger truck back. That's another news item. We'll cover that later. If anyone can send me... Um, uh, verification of that. Links for YouTube, please. I'll cover that as well. EMBR violated agreement by involving Milton. Hey, good morning all. Jay Lit. Good morning. Good morning, Kudakil. It's my life. Ain't gonna live forever. It's my life. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Eric. Hi, Eric. How you doing, Mike? Good morning, everybody. Well, we're a very friendly bunch this morning. Uh, Martin Lucas, investor, just quickly popping in to drop a potential positive news for Fisker. Links for YouTube. Thanks. Links for YouTube. Uh, Fisker, Fisker, Fisker. Let me have a look. Let me have a look. Links for YouTube. Um, uh, Fisker, Fisker, Fisker. Let me have a look. Let me review it. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I like it. Uh, where's it from? UK. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Um, all right. Let me just tidy that up a little bit. I like it. Thank you very much. Uh, who was that from? That was from Vaz. Thank you very much, Vaz. I report on that in a second. Gents, ladies, good morning. Kuda kill. Mike, look at this. Uh, very, very, very friendly people this morning. Oh, no. Is Sensei here? Anyone know what the, this XRP stablecoin means for XRP holders? Yes, we need Sensei for that. Thanks, Martin, and my pleasure. Thank you. Top of the morning, everyone. Lucas Gang is rolling in. Indeed it is. Right, okay. Uh, let me quickly do this then. Uh, I've got so much to do today. Um, it's going to be a real struggle to do everything. I can't do everything. More reviews today as well. Um, I want to ask, do we have in the house, do we have Rallo 1? Rallo 1. Stacy Bailey. Stacy, did I just see Stacy? Uh, Stacy's here. Okay, Stacy, this is for you. How do you do? Uh, Stacy, here we go. This is for you, Stacy. We go over to YouTube. I'm going to show you how you do it. Type in YouTube. There you go. YouTube comes up. Go to the search bar. Go to the top. Type in Martin Lucas. No surprise there, really. You could search for Meet Kevin if you want, but, you know, it's not going to work. Um, uh, G-N-E-N-F. G-N-E-N-F. There, there was your review. You asked me to do a review. Now, I know you didn't. Uh, you, you decided to not touch the product, the, the stock. That's fine. Just wanted you to know I've done your review, okay? Now, should you wish to, and I don't think you will, um, <laughs> should you wish to, you can... Uh, um, you can uh, promote the video uh, if you want. There's your video, Gang Feng, it's for you. Uh, uh, Stacey Bailey, let me give you the link. I just wanted you to know it was done. Uh, there is your link. If you want to, and I, I know you're not going to want to, but I'll tell you anyway, uh, every, every one of these videos, you can do a super thanks. It's not a super chat. It's a super thanks. It's a comment under the video. It promotes the video, it supports the channel. And basically it's your opportunity to promote promote the video if you want the message put out, but also to promote you. It and that allows you to promote you. What I mean by that is, if you do a super thanks, any of my videos, I pin it to the top and everybody will see it when they first see the video. You can have a link there to a business, your business, whatever. I will, I will approve it. So people use it to promote things or promote the stock or whatever as you want to say, I will pin it to the top and thank you because YouTube get a bit of commission out of a super thanks. So it's my way of thanking you for supporting the channel, all right? Whatever it is you want to promote. It could be the stock or something of your own. Anyway, there you go. I will pin it to the top um, for you, Lisa, um, Stacy, as that's your video. Right, I can now take that off the list. Is Kevin B here? Is Kevin B in the chat? Is Wadey here? Is uh, Jim Debussy here? Is Rallo One here? Jonathan Santos, Vincent Vosberg, Todd Fletcher. Are any of you here? Did I see um, Did I see Kevin B earlier? I'm trying to get all these. Kevin B, are you here? I see you. Are you, are you here? Just let me know you're here, Kevin B. Um, I've got one for you as well. More to do as well. Come back to me, guys, if you are here. 
Uh, yeah, she didn't like it very much. Uh, Malk UK. Malk UK, I'm here. Malk UK, I'm here. How are you, Malk? Just haven't got a review for you. So but it's lovely to have you here, mate. Lovely to have you here. Right, before we carry on, uh, I've got uh, a, f- a few things to tell you about. Um, so... Uh, I'm here. I know you're here, Mike. You're always here, Mike. Okay. You know, we, we know where you are, Mike. Right. Now then I did post last night, as I always do ahead of, ahead of everything. Tell you what I'm doing before I do it. Let me share this with you. Um, go DB. I think Kevin B is in the extra channel. Is Kevin B in the extra? Let me have a look. Uh, John, John, uh, is Kevin B in the extra channel? Well, he can hear me. Uh, here I am. Here he is, uh, Kevin B's here. Right, Kevin B, I'm going to take you off the list. Why? I'll show you right now. Kevin B, uh, here is your review. Um, so what you do, go to the top. Same thing for you. If you want to promote it, you can. Uh, A-U-L-T, there is your review. Uh, if you type in A-U-L-T, it should come up. Why didn't it come up? There you go. A-U-L-T, just posted it. There is your video. Worst worst at stock I've ever seen in my life. Absolute pants rubbish. Don't buy it. But if you want to promote it or promote yourself, I'll give you the link to it anyway. Uh, share, um, copy the link. Uh, it's the first, I think the first one ever where I said I don't want the CEO on the on the show. Don't want to promote obvious rubbish. I wouldn't have Mullen on the show either. Anyway, Lance Strength, how was the employment numbers? We just covered it. Lance Strength, we just covered you as well. Um, Yardstick, your your special commemorative mug for your mum is about to go out. Lance Strength, so look out for that. We're sending you from all the family a special mug uh, to commemorate your mum's life and the fact we supported you uh, when you sadly lost your mum just a few days ago. So, uh, Alt, so Kevin B, this is for you. Uh, there is your video. Uh, I've just realized I'm still showing up as the, I need to change that. Hang on. Uh, there we go. Let me do that again. I'm coming through as my wrong channel. Right. There you go. All right. That's your video. That's you done. Excellent stuff. Uh, if anybody else is in, let me know. Now then, I posted last night. Um, good morning, uh, Jarrett Sebri. Uh, GoDB, 3.8%, I think. Steve Wally, 300,000. Right, let's move on. Um, last night, I posted this on my X account. Just after I'd done the market crash. Remember I did the market crash this, uh, last night? 10% correction, I think, is on the cards. I don't know it's going to happen. That's just what it looks like to me. Anyway, so because of that, uh, I started to buy the dip. And I said to you, I would buy the dip at, at, uh, first, just a couple of percent. I will buy just a few shares and it will expand using my paid margin. So this is actually going to, um, th- th- this will actually um uh, cost me money, but I'm going to pay it back on the 21st of April. And the, what it's going to cost me between now and eight, uh, the 21st of April uh, on uh, on on margin will be compensated by what I get uh, with um, the dividends. So it's free money. That's why I've done it. And I was right to do so as well. So last night, I announced to you that I'm buying back I, I bought, well, I'm not buying back, I'm adding. I bought four more. I'd like to know if Eric B followed me. Look, I announced it last night, nine hours ago, during the night. There we go. We got this drop here. It went sideways. I looked at it, did my figures, looked at all the bits and bobs and thought, right, okay, I'm going to buy four. So I bought four. I announced to you that I'd buy four and I bought four. So now we can have a look this morning and how that's translated and uh, you can see that it worked out well um, because I'm up today. Uh, I've now got four more shares of the SNP. Now, it's it's worth noting this because it's going to cost me about, uh, I think I worked it out, about $2.40, something like that. Was it two? Was it three? Or was it 318? I think it was 318 actually between now and the 21st. I think it was something like that. And on the 21st, I'm going to pay it back 8% interest on on um, on uh, on margin. Uh, and uh, I spent about two grand. It's somewhere like that. Anyway, the point was 
uh, that's I'm going to get about that much, around about that much on dividends by owning the stock. And of course, if the stock keeps going up, well, then that's great because I ended up getting getting more lower. All right. So now it's I want to show you this because people say it spoils your average if you buy on the way up. You want to buy always lower. You can't always buy lower than your original price. Uh, it, it, you can't. I mean, it just it's just impossible to do so. You'll never be able to do that because if you want to buy the S&P for what it was, you know, 20 years ago, well, obviously you can't. You know, that's a no brainer, right? You can't do that. You can only buy it from where it is today. Uh, and if you get a small dip, then you can buy that. But you can't you can't get it lower than you've ever bought it before. I mean, anyone who's invested today who invested 20 years ago is paying more today than they did 20 years ago. I mean, there's not, there's nothing you can do about that. That's fine. Um, but it's always worth being in the market. And I'm going to show you an ex an actual real life example of how, uh, of how little it, little difference it makes with the compound interest and buying, buying, uh, by buying more and consistently staying in the market benefits you. Let me share with you. Now, my Roth IRA, I started the S&P project about, what, four months ago, five months ago now? Something like that, wasn't it? It was the very beginning of the year. Where, where are we now? April, about four months ago. And I went all in on the uh, the Roth. There you go. And I'm up 8.45. I bought at the lowest point, beginning of January, whatever it was, and uh, I'm up 8.45. I've never bought any more. So I've never paid any more. I've never paid any less. And as it's risen, obviously, I've always been, I've, I've got the lowest price for, for the last four or five months, right? I've never bought higher. And I'm up 8.45, okay? Now, on the, on the main account, and the reason why I haven't bought any more here is because I can't, because I maxed out on the Roth. I can't buy any more until next year. I mean, I literally can't. There ain't nothing you can do. Now, eight, remember 8.45. On my brokerage account, if I look at my S&P, I'm up 7.08. Just a difference of 1.45. That's all. In fact, less than 1.45 at 1, 1.38, right? I'm only up a different, I'm only worse off by about 1.38, my average, the overall, right? Because I've been buying on the way up, right? So, so you know, obviously the ones I've just bought haven't made any money yet. They may have lost a bit of money. I don't know. Um, right. You get my point. But look, it's only made a difference of like, of just over 1%. It's not that much. So it just shows you it's still worth buying on the way up. I mean, you, there's, no, there's no choice. You, you've got to do that. Now, you could say, well, I'll wait till it crashes 10%. We don't know it's going to crash 10%. We think it will. And that's when I will really turn on the margin. So what I did last night, you see my margins from what well, my margin was 99,000. It's now down to 97,000. I've used a couple of grand last night. To, to, so I'm paying 8%. But it's okay because I'm going to be paying it off on the 21st of April. I've already earned that money from YouTube. They just pay me every month on the 21st. I will pay it back. And the amount I'll pay in interest between then and now, then and now will be what I get in dividends. So fine. Now you might say, well, why didn't you just wait? Why didn't you wait? Because if it goes lower, you, you can buy it lower and not pay interest. That's true. That's true. However, uh, as you can see, the unemployment figures this morning weren't great or bad. It kind of a bit of indifferent, really. It's not really moved the market. It's moved it slightly up, if anything. It's uh, you know we're still we're still okay. Um, and because you don't know what's going to happen, what you're doing is you're um, just covering both ends of it, right? If it drops lower, I'll buy a lot. If it drops ten percent, I would use twenty, thirty grand of my margin. Obviously, if it's if it drops a little bit, like a couple of percent, I'm going to buy, I'm going to nibble in, I'm going to keep nibbling in because it just might carry on going up. And because I'm going to pay it off in, in uh, two weeks anyway, uh, I'm only going to I'm going to cover the cost of the margin. And what if it carries on going? I was able to get a lower price because what we do know for a fact in six months, a year, two years from now, it will be up from where I am now. So I will benefit. That's a proper investment. I know that my money will be worth more in six months, a year, two years from now. So I consistently want to buy more and I know I can clear it. So I hope that makes sense. A uh, little explanation there. Anyway, um, Mr. Mankey. ARS Pharmaceuticals Review.
Uh, I did say I'm not taking any reviews at the moment. Um, please don't give me any more reviews. Uh, I've got too many $10 reviews at the moment that I've got to do first. So I'll take it as you've given it to me, but please, please stop giving me super chats for reviews at the moment. Um, uh, oh, hang on. It's already on the list. You've just been bumped up then. Thank you very much. I take that back. Thank you. Uh, you've just bumped yourself up two places. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, please, no new, no new reviews. I can't do uh, any more at the moment. So I'm going to bump your, um, I'm going to bump your review up. You've just bumped up th uh, three places actually. Right. And the reason why I don't want to take your money or take any more reviews because I can't do the ones I've got. If I get any more, it'll be just too many. I'll be working all weekend again. And uh, I don't want to do that. Right. So um, that's updated that. We've updated um, uh, Nicola. Uh, now then, now then, I've got an announcement to make. Uh, and I'm really excited to share it with you. Uh, if we got all the if we got all the members here today, we got a busy show. Let's have a little look. Yes, we have. All right. This is not uh, the official announcement. This is the build up to something that's about to happen. So everyone, pay attention right now. Uh, this is this is a a really special moment, a one off moment. It's not going to happen ever again. It can't happen ever again. It can't. And let me explain why. This is a one-off moment in history on the channel. And I want to share it with everyone. This is not the official announcement. This is just the, the um, a taster of what's about to happen. So let me tell you right now. So let me, let me just uh, talk to you personally now, each and every one of you. So are you ready? Um, here we go. So we are coming up to three years anniversary of this channel. Uh, this channel has completely changed my life. It's been a wonderful experience and it's always been and always will be for the members, to benefit the members, okay, to help people, build a global community where we can have friends, support, help each other, make money uh, in the ups, the up times, the down times and everything. It's always been and always will be for the members and the family of this channel. It's not about how much money I can make on the channel, or how many subscribers I can get. It's to provide the best service uh, for the best people together live every day. That's what this is about. Well, three years ago, we started this channel and uh, it was just me talking to myself. And uh, it really was. My wife thought I was, she often says uh, she, how proud she was of me for just sticking at it, talking to nobody hours a day. Uh, eventually one person rolled in and that was Mike and Bill and off we went. But uh, yeah, it literally was me on my own. Anyway, beside the point. Um, so I want to be able to honor the founder original members in a way that I've never been able to do. And now I've got a very, very unique way of doing it. And all of you here can be part of it. Every one of my members today can be part of this. OK, so this will never happen again. This is a once in a lifetime moment. As you know, uh, it was about a year and a half into our show we were able to monetize the channel and have memberships. That's when the ads got turned on. I know you don't like the ads, but it's what pays for the channel, right? Uh, and the super chats, we were able to do all the special features and all, and all the great stuff. And that's when the channel started to grow. Well, the extra channel has been going now for about a month. That's all it's been, about a month. And we are about to be monetized. We have passed the threshold to be, um, not to be fully monetized with ads and all that stuff, but we've passed the threshold. I'm just waiting for approval from YouTube that we can have all the perks and benefits like memberships and so on and so forth. Now, before you go, hang on a minute. This is about you making more money. It isn't. Let me tell you. What it is, is we are now about to qualify for memberships, super chats, and all those other things, members-only live streams, members-only chats, and so on. I want... I want the 12 hour stream and it's going to continually get better and better and better. Uh, I was talking to, um, uh, what's the name of the company last night? I was talking to um, Alpha, not Alpha Spread, Alpha, 
Forget who it was now. Any, um, Alpha, it'll come to me in a minute. It's Alpha something. Everyone knows Everyone knows the website. It's a United States uh, website. Um, I can see it in my mind. Anyway, those that company and other companies are talking to me. They want to affiliate with me, sponsor my channel, be part of the channel, and offer services to my to my members, to my viewers. And I have said I want if I'm going to team up with anyone, they have to have the best deal that's available. It has to be to be, to benefit them, and it has to be something really valuable. And they can't get anywhere else. It has to be the best deal for the members. Um, not Alpha Romeo. Not Alpha Romeo. It's Alpha. It's it's a it's a it's a financial channel. It's a financial website. Um, it's one of the big ones. Um, it's on it's on Google number one all the time. Uh, Alpha. What the hell is it? Anyway, whatever. It's going to come to me in a minute. Anyway, them and others. They they want to provide me with great services and so on. Now the twelve hour stream is essentially going to be a twelve hour live support system where everyone can get help, support, sh uh, uh, share information, discuss, always have a voice, always have a place. Now, right now, Seeking Alpha, thank you very much, Seeking Alpha. They are speaking with me. I've got an appoint appointment with them on Monday after the opening bell. They want to team up with me. And uh, there are others like that who want to provide me with exclusive premium services to my viewers, okay? And it has to be right, otherwise I wouldn't do it. Okay, so that's that's great. Um, now, the 12-hour the stream is about to get all kinds of upgrades. I want to show live charts, live information, things that you would have to pay for, premium services for free as part of just being in the family, right? That's what it's about, a, a live support system, which is always there. Now, what I want to do is I want to make it members only. OK, because it's not about how many people I can get in, how many people can watch, because there's not, you know, all that's going on is behind the scenes or it's not the live show. It's not the main show like this. It's just, you know what the 12 hour stream is, right? So I, I, I want it to be members only so it can be just for you. We've got no we've got no one coming in, promoting anything, no one spamming, no one doing any of those things. But wouldn't it be great? Wouldn't it be great if we could do something really a one-off that we can only ever do once and never be able to do it again, okay? Um, this new channel is the support channel for this one, right? We only get one moment in its entire history to turn on the memberships. That's it. Only one time. Once it's on, it's on. You can turn it off, but you can't start it again six months, a year later. It's a one moment in time and that's it. Now, in 10 years from now, in, sorry, in fact, in seven years from now, when we hit 10 million subscribers, which I believe we will, which will make us the biggest financial channel in the world, which I believe we're going to do, uh, won't it be incredible to be a member on day one, everyone together, because you'll all be a founder member together. Now, people who join next month, next year, the year after, the year after, of course, are very welcome. Uh, but there's only one moment in time when all the original members that built this channel, that built this channel and built that channel can all become a member at the same time, on the same day on the same day. So every single person who's a member of this channel is going to get a um, uh, an, um, an email if you are on the memberships of this channel, if you've got the um, notifications turned on, you're going to get uh, a membership video which you will get an email to you, notified to you, if you are a member of this channel and if you have notifications turned on, you're going to get this notification of this email, this video, which will tell you the date it comes out. It's going to be a secret. No one will know. And the point of that is you can all become a member on that day. Now you're going to go, how much is the membership? You're gonna are you gonna two night same as this channel? No, it's going to be wait for it ninety nine cents as cheap as uh, as I can possibly get it ninety nine cents. 
99 cents. If uh, That's it. 99 cents. The purpose of that is it will be a members only channel. It will be everybody can be a founder member on day one. Everybody that supported this channel can get is a member on, on day one. And that'll be really, really exciting, right? Because a year from now, everybody will have a one-year badge on the same day. Everybody will be a two-year badge on the same day. And the reason for doing that is when we get certain milestones in the future, one year, two year, four year, 10 year, when we're a million subscribers, you're only paying 99 cents for this service. I can't do it. It won't do any lower. 99 cents. The point is I can then recognize... I can recognize all of the members together. I can recognize all of the members together. So when we do special meetups, when we do special in-person events, and there's going to be some really great things in the future, things like if um, Seeking Alpha give me a special deal, it will be members only, but it'll be all the founder members will be able to get it because we know who they are because you'll all become members on day one. People that become members a year from now or two years from now or a month from now will never be quite a founder member. You won't quite be a founder member, but all of you to thank you will be and you'll get special benefits, special perks, and it'll be a real, real special moment. So there you go. It'll just be 99 cents. And uh, everybody can have that original founder member. And uh, it's going to be a, a bit of history because, you know, it, you can't ever do it again. And in 10 years from now, you'll all be 10 years old on the same day. It will be everyone's birthday together. Be really kind of cool. I'm really excited about it. Um, and uh, so there you go. That's just to let you know what's about to happen. It's And no one will know what date it is. Now, once the um, once a channel gets monetized, you won't know. Nobody will know what date it's going to be unless you're a member of this channel and you get the the membership notification. You won't know. There's no way you can know, right? So that way, everybody will member on the same day. It'd be really exciting. Uh, I just had a question. Um, um, uh, yes, yeah, seeking out. I'm a member of Seeking Alpha. Yes. Well, with me, you won't need to be. That's the point. <laughs> seeking Alpha, my members are going to get the best deal, right? Uh, there's going to be all kinds of perks and benefits. I, I mean, I haven't, I haven't had my formal interview with Seeking Alpha. I'm, I'm doing it on Monday, and uh, you know, I want to, um, I want to make sure the deal's right. So. You know, if I don't get the right deal, it won't be. I won't release it. But it's got to be better than anyone else's. It's no point being worse. You know, Mad and Bloomberg get a better deal. That's no good. Absolutely not. I won't do it. All right. Anyway, um, Iberian Wolf has said, "Will you have bronze, silver, and gold?" Um, would you like me to? Would you like me to? Um, uh, you know, would, would you like me to? Uh, remember, they are two separate channels. The perks that you get on this channel are the, you know, uh, are going to be the perks on this channel. They're completely separate channels. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll ask, I'll, I'll, I'll do a poll, uh, start a poll. Uh, would you like um, bronze, uh, silver, because some people just want to support, you know, more. I understand that. Uh, would you like uh, bronze, silver, and gold? Yes or no? Let me know. But anyway, uh, the bronze level, if there is a bronze, silver, and gold, will be 99 cents. Um, right. J Lit official channel. How do I become a member of this channel? Uh, well, here you go. There's the membership link in the chat for you. If you are on an iPhone... Uh, you need to select a browser and select the desktop version. Everything else works fine. Um, so just so you know, it's because Apple tried to get commission out of uh, YouTube. Um, anyway, there you go. Um, does this mean <laughs> we get two birthday songs on two different channels? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Also do a diamond membership, $1,000. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, we might as well. Yeah, we might as well. We'll do a, we'll do a diamond membership for $1,000. Yeah, I think that's a brilliant idea. 10 years from now, I, I'll be another Benny. I, I will be another Benny Hill whistling at the nurses. There you go. Exactly, exactly, Iberian Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get a merchandise to commemorate this momentous uh, moment, momentous event, Martin? Oh, cool. Yeah, you were there. You were there on day one. Yeah, okay. Um, new member mug. That's a cool thing. Um, and that was Mount QK. Yeah, it'll be a one-time moment. No, in in, uh, in uh, you know ten years. Seven years when we're 10 million subscribers and people member the channel, there will be all of you with your 10-year badges and your 10-year mugs. Uh, your, you know, your founder members. I was there at the beginning. That kind of thing. Just figured out how to listen to you while I drive. Boom. Uh, Jarrett Sabri. <laughs> Jay Lit has just become a member. Jay Lit official channel has become a member. Hey, Jay Lit, you've got here... Uh, that uh, official channel. What? What? Uh, what exactly is that? Let me have a look. Uh, what is that? Oh, you've got a YouTube channel. You know, Jay Lit. I should have told you this. Uh, you you probably know anyway. But if you're a silver member, you can go on the home page of this channel. Look down here, and on members' days. We can get we can get everyone to subscribe to your channel. We do that. Look, Me silver and upwards. We put you on the homepage. Uh, if you ask to do it, we don't do it automatically. We ask to do it, and what we do, we get everyone to subscribe to you on members' days. All right, on certain days, I will um, get everyone to subscribe to you. We have a lot of fun with doing that. All right. Anyway, there you go. If you are a, if you are a YouTuber and you want to grow your channel. Uh, it's the best way. You're not paying for silly pretend subscribers and pretend likes. What you're doing is engaging with a channel which is in, which is growing a thousand subscribers a week, which will engage with you and help you grow. Um, anyway, just bear that in mind if you are a YouTuber. Anyway, uh, automatically held. Uh, what does that say? Um, what does this say here? <laughs> it's just turning into only fans yeah it's going to be only fans absolutely that's what it's going to be everyone gets a martin lucas snow globe uh good morning lucas aids time for a nice refreshing cup of tea malk james 007 oh yeah And you've got to have tea with milk, by the way. Just thought I'd let you know. Would everybody please welcome in... Um, Ten years old, need a commemorative Zimmer frame. <laughs> yeah, we all will. Uh, welcome in. Um, good morning. Can everyone please welcome Jay Litt? Jay Litt is a new member. Now, Jay Litt, you've got many, many perks and benefits. We used to explain all the benefits, but there are too many now, so we can't do it anymore. So what I do... Uh, what I do is uh, is I give you this. This video explains everything, how you get on Discord, how you get all the uh, Ed Nevis' scalp tips, all of that, okay? Here's the how-to and why video. You must watch it all the way to the end. It will tell you how to get on Discord, how to commemorate your birthday, how to have reviews, how to, I mean, how to do everything. And there are many, 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 many perks. Uh, yes, my cough is much better today. Thanks for asking. I appreciate it. Uh, only fans. St <laughs> Stock and feet. Only 20 roses. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Can you imagine it? Right, yes. Uh, every time I get a $10 super chat, I give you a stock tip and show my toes. I mean, seriously? Seriously? Uh, is that what we're doing now? Right. Okay. Welcome. Look at that. What a great welcome. By the way, uh, we have members. What's, what's the time? We have members in uh, 50. How many members? Is it countries? Is it 58 now, isn't it? Is it 58 countries? Uh, yes, we have members in 58 countries. So if you are uh, one of these countries that's not on the list, let us know and we'll fly the flag for you. Anyway, uh, I'd love to uh, love to hear from you. All right. Uh, anyway, um, so, uh, 
<laughs> Jarrett, yeah. Um, so I wanted. To, so is is Rallo one here? Wady, uh, Jim Debussy, Jonathan Santos. Are you here? I've got your reviews done. Um, I'm going to start taking these off the list soon. If there's, there's a few people that haven't been in for a while, uh, and I've got to like you know whatever. Um, anyway. We got reviews to do, so that's what I did last night. That's why I bought the SNP. Let's go through the portfolio. Uh, Virgin Galactic is now down to one twenty-seven. It's going down to one ten. Uh, gold is going up. The SNP is up today. Uh, ten minutes ago, before the bell goes, Amazon's, Amazon's up. Um, Apple is up. Nextium Energy going back down again. N phase energy going down four and a half percent today. Flipping egg. Coca Cola is up at the moment. J and J is up. Let's go through. We'll do the obviously we'll do the stock race, of course, when the bell goes. It's Tesla going down. When Tesla recovers, the S P is going to do 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 great. Uh, so another reason for owning more of the S P, right? Uh, McDonald's going down. Google down today. What else have we got? Let's have a look. Go through. Nvidia is up. How far is NVIDIA now from $1,000? Well, it's dropped below the 900. Okay. Robinhood down today, 18. Rocket Lab up today. Plug, five. Under, remember, remember I told you it's going under $3? There it is. It's, uh, it's awful. It's, it's a great company, but it's been destroyed by Russian oligarchs. If you don't know what I mean by that, look back at my plug video. Just type in Martin Lucas plug and you'll see them or, or go to the playlist and uh, you will see what I mean about that. Right, Nicola up 1.68. Thanks all, said John. Look at that. Jaylit. There we go. Great to have you here, mate. Good morning, Martin. Please give me some information about EDBL. Ramesh. Give me some information about E D B L E. Um, what do you mean? <laughs> I will join the extra channel um, membership when it is ready. Uh, fantastic. So yeah, some people like the idea. Some people like the. I oh, quote fifty fifty. Okay. Well, you, you can have that choice. You can you can certainly have that choice uh, for extra benefit, can't you? Uh, if if it would have been if it had been um, if it had been like ninety percent, no, we, we just want the one. Then fine. Then if that was the case, um, then I would um, would I wouldn't do it. But the fact that half of you want it, I know the majority don't, but you don't have to have it, do you? You don't have to have it. The fact is there are 50% of you, so there are there are about um, 18 of you who do want the extra levels. So then it makes it makes sense to add it. I'll leave that there for a while. Anyway. Same here. It's going to be a really exciting moment. Um, and yeah, anyway, there's going to be all kinds of uh, benefits to it. Uh, I'll remember Zach Zay. <laughs> it's a, it's a one-time chance for everyone to be able to get the, um, the founder member badges together. You'll never get that chance because a month later... You'll always be a month behind, won't you? You'll always, you'll always, yeah, if you, and you'll always be a month behind. There's nothing you, there's nothing you could do about it. You know, once it starts, it starts. Right. Okay. We've got five minutes to go. We've got reviews to do this morning as well. Now then, Zach's here. Zach Zait, did you want to do in half an hour the Friday phone in? Zach Zait, Zach Zait, Friday phone in in half an hour. You, every Friday, we we used to do a Friday phone in. We haven't done it for a while. Uh, Zach, do, are you calling in today? Are you calling in on the Friday phone in? Uh, let me know if you are. Let me know because I can plan around it then. 
Uh, did you want to call in? Would you want to talk about different things? Uh, that would be great. Five minutes to go. Now then, the news this morning was around this. This is what we're watching this morning. Uh, let me bring you the figures and how the market didn't react to it, really. It was a non-event. Uh, Non-farm payrolls, previous, 270,000. Okay, it's gone up, 303,000. Consensus was 200. So we're expecting payrolls to come down. Payrolls have gone up, okay? Unemployment rate, uh, the unemployment rate was 3.9. The unemployment rate is 3.8. So more people employed. In other words, a strong labor market. It's good for the economy. Remember, the, uh, the um, uh, what's the word? The Fed aren't trying to make people unemployed. However, if, the, if we get more and more people employed, um, they, the um, uh, employers have to pay more in wages. Inflation starts to go up again because there are less available workers. Okay, if everyone's working to entice workers to work for you, you've got to pay more. But anyway, we shall see how the market reacts on the bell. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So, oh, call in. Yes. Zach is, uh, Zach is calling in. Great. That's in half an hour. So get yourself ready. Like, you know, get yourself prepared. You know, brush your hair, put your suit on. <laughs> I mean, I have to, so why shouldn't you? <laughs> right, okay. Uh, three minutes to go. Exciting. Uh, if you've not yet tuned into the 12-hour stream, uh, there it is. That's behind the scenes. Uh, it's getting good. There's the crystal ball. Look. Um, should we have a look around? Should we have a look around? That's what. That's where I. That's where I have my tea. That's where I get my deliveries. That's where the Amazon do my deliveries. Uh, let's zoom in. Boom! I love this. It's good, isn't it? You are impressed, aren't you? You are. You got to admit, you are impressed. You are thinking it's very good, isn't it? I have to be honest. It is very good. I'll give him that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited it worked out so well. And it's and it's gonna get better too. If you think that's good, you wait. We're just we're just getting started. We're just getting started. Two minutes to go. This is great. Now, if we get a nice green day today, I'll be really I bought four shares of the SP, two grand last night. I'm in margin now. I'm paying about $3.80 between now and the 21st. And there's nothing I can do. I haven't got any money anywhere to bring it in. If if I could, I I would. I mean, I wanted to use it, but then if I could pay it off, I'd buy another four. So I would keep doing it. You know, that's the point, because if I can earn what I'm going to earn, uh, if I'm going to pay, um, if I'm going to earn in dividends what it's going to cost me over the next three weeks in interest, it's worth doing, right? As long as I can pay it off in three weeks. Um, and I can pay off that too. I can't pay off four or five or ten. So there's no point me, you know, spend and to do that. The markets have got to drop ten percent. There's no point doing it. Uh, very, very good, uh, Mike. Good morning, Zach. Happy Friday. If Martin is still green at the belt, he should show his toes from now on. <laughs> that ain't happening. That ain't happening. Why is it with toes? Why is it? Why is everybody obsessed with toes? I don't understand it. What's going on here? Right. What is going on? What is going on? Evening. Uh, KC, how are you? I'm going to the mirror. There you go. Brush your hair, put your tie on, suit on. Make sure that you look smart. Don't mess around. You're coming on the big show. Take it seriously. Take it seriously. It's a serious thing, this. Right, you ready? Okay, here we go. We're about to ring the bell. The studio goes quiet. In respect for the money that's about to be made and lost. Are you going to be up? Are you going to be down? We'll find out. It goes quiet. Five, four, three, two, one. The bell has gone. You can sponsor the bell. A $20 super chat. You could put your name on the bell and in description underneath. Are we up? Are we down? Let's go. All right. It's holding at the moment. Not doing much. 
No major reaction at the moment. This is my portfolio. I bought four more shares of the S&P last night. I posted it online to let you know I was doing it before I actually did it, as I always do. All right. Good, eh? Right. Waiting for much bigger drops, but I bought four using the margin. Let's go through our positions right now. Virgin Galactic going down to $1.10. If it does, it will go under a dollar, and then we are in all kinds of problems then. Uh, calls to have Eric Kearney fired from the company. He is doing a terrible job. Uh, the um, complacency and the lip service of just helping yourself to free shares because that's what he gets paid in is, uh, is, is just unbelievable. Such a shame. Anyway, 124 going down. Palantir is up today. Gold is going up. 0.38. The S&P is holding up. I'm happy. I'm really, really happy. If I can make money on it. Oh, it's going up. Come on. I mean, you know, you kind of wanted to go down and buy more, but, you know, it's fine. Uh, Amazon is firing up 1.43. Very strong today. Apple is also up 169, though. Nikola is up 5.3%. Nikola, breaking news, 5.3%. Uh, Next Era Energy is down, but remember the dividends though. Enphase is also down. Enphase is down today, uh, down 4.89. Coca-Cola defensives are taking a drop. The S&P is rising quickly. Look at this, it was a right move. Fantastic, always right to remain in the market. Defensives are selling out. That means they're moving into the high risk stocks again. That means things like Google and Apple and Tesla maybe and also NVIDIA. Let's have a look at it. J&J going down. Defences are going down. That's interesting because Kenview's going up. Chevron is up 0.3. Tesla. Oh, it's down. Oh, here it comes back up again. So it's down with a bit of a rebound. The S&P is coming up quickly. This is really good. I bought the four. I bought, if that carries on, I'll be very happy. But remember, it's sell-off Friday. Will it all sell off midday? Tilray Brands. Tilray Brands has turned green again. Rivian is going down. And McDonald's is down today. But come back up again. Google, there it is, as I predicted, going up. And Microsoft pulling back a bit. And there's NVIDIA also going up. Uh, we're up now nearly half a percent on the S&P. Great, 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 great. Walmart going up. Robinhood is down, but come back up again. IonQ going up. Rocket Lab pulling back down 0.54. Plug Power down under $3 and it's back up again. R- uh, Rumble is going down. Funware is down 7.75. FFE, FFE, F- FFIE is down to eight cents. Rio Tinto is down, but trying to push up. Bitcoin is down 0.7. I beg your pardon. Yeah, down 0.7. Polygon is down 1.81, XRP is down 1.5, and Nikola is up 4.38 over a dollar again. Here it goes. Come on, Nikola. We reported on it this morning. We put the news out. Absolutely fantastic. We love it, love it, love it. Come on, Nikola. Get over a dollar. Let's see it. Back to the S&P again. Uh, and you can see my portfolio is very, very green. Excellent stuff indeed. All right. There you go. That is the stock race at April the 5th, 8.30. Bill, lovely to have you here. You just missed a very, very special announcement about being a member. We're about to get a major, major, major upgrade one time ever. It can never, ever happen again in 10 years, 20 years, 100 years. It's a one-time deal. Uh, I've told everybody about it earlier. Please rewind the video. You really, really, really want to listen to it because you were here. You still have your two-year badge if you come back within the 30 days so you don't lose the history. But uh, you do want to make sure that you do listen to it. It's very, 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 very important. The uh, mem- the extra channel is about to have memberships. We're doing it for 99 cents, the lowest you can do it. Uh, And the purpose of it is everyone's going to member on the same day. So everyone's going to be a founder member on the same day. And in 10 years from now, we'll all have a 10 year birthday on the same day. And it's the only time we'll ever be able to do it on the same day all together. And uh, if you miss that, if you miss that day, you miss that day. You'll always be behind everybody else. There's nothing you can do to change it. That's how it will be. It's a very exciting day, and uh, there's going to be uh, exclusive benefits because we'll now be able to recognize the founder members just for 99 cents. 
Anyway, there you go. Want to do, uh, and plus, uh, plus I'm speaking to major providers of software uh, like Alpha to bring more content to the, to the members as well. Right, there you go. Now look at it. This is great. The S&P is going up. We are up. Absolutely loving it. Space 1024. Can we look at the Ion Q candlesticks? Yes, of course you can. Ion Q. We'll take you there right now. Um, Ion Q. Ion Q. Ion Q. Let's have a little look. Now then, um, oh, doing very nicely today. Let's have a little quick look. Um, we've got, uh, it's now way above the RSI, so be very, very careful. Uh, the, the buy orders loading it up. Uh, again, very manipulated, so don't use that. Don't use that. Let me go bring you the Ion Q on this chart as well. Advance it. Let's have a look. Um, and there we go. Big, big, big candle just coming here. I don't uh, really focus on this kind of thing. This is Sensei's thing, and he'll... Oops, hang on a minute. That's the wrong script. That's not going to show. Uh, I don't normally bother with the candles. I let Sensei do that on the Sunday, but I'll give it to you up here. Uh, just bear with me. Just bear with me another couple of seconds, and I'll give give you what you asked for. All right, here you go. Right, fantastic. Again, if you want um, more of this kind of information, that's what Sensei provides on Sunday. IonQ is great. Quantum computers is great, but it's too expensive. Um that's why, you know, I always talk about it saying it's too expensive. Uh, it's, all, it's run by scientists, which are very clever, but I'm not sure they're the best business people. They inflate the stock a bit too much for me. Um, Box, I want to become a member, an AAA. I want to become an AAA member. <laughs> Do you? Uh, well, if you if you want to become a, a, a LucasAid, LucasAid, LucasAid member, there is the... Um, uh, there is the, uh, the link. Stacy Bailey, what program do you use? Uh, Stacy, where are you in the world? Aren't you in America? Um, I want to buy VU and NASDAQ, not sure yet. Uh, can you do a back test for NS? Yes, of course I can. Um, Lisa Wang, I'll do that for you now. Just bear with me, um, and we're going to move on to um, we're going to move on to dividends in a moment. Not uh, not dividends, beg your pardon. What am I talking about? Um, Michigan. Uh, oh, there you go. Just like I said, look, we've got we've got uh, Ion Q is just too expensive. Um, let me share with you on the screen. I wouldn't buy it at the moment. Michigan, uh, Stacy Bears from Michigan. So, uh, uh, St Stacy, do you have do you have Robin Hood yet? Do you have Robin Hood? If you don't, if you don't, let me give you the link. Use my referral. You get some free shares, um, and also uh, you might you might get a gold a solid gold card worth two thousand dollars as well. I'll tell you about that in a second, uh, and I'll, I'll also and I'll also pay you to get it as well. Yeah, I'll tell you about that in a second. Have, have you got Robin Hood yet? Uh, if not, let me let me uh, let me help you with that. Oh, you do have Robin Hood. So I'm using Robin Hood. You ask you ask what program do I use for the charts? It's Robin Hood. So you already have that then. Anyway, I was asked to do a back test. What was it for? A N A S. I might buy both Fu and N A S D X. Okay, uh, VU, 100%. NAS. But mine doesn't show candles or zoom in. Yeah, it does. Of course it does. <laughs> of course it does. Um, it's exactly the same. I don't think gold membership, being a gold member, gives you... Are you a gold member? Do you pay five bucks a month? N A S D X. Because if not, I'll give you the link and you can be one of my gold members. Right. 
Okay. This is for Lisa Wang. If you want to do a back test, I'm going to do it for you now. Good morning, Queen of Self Braiding. You missed the announcement about the special membership. One time moment in history. It will never ever happen again. Watch the first. Uh, watch the um, the first four or fifteen minutes of the video when I explain to everybody about it. Or look out for the membership video that's coming out shortly. Uh, it's a one time de deal. Um, good morning. Happy Friday. At bottom of chart, hit the hit the settling button and click candles. Oh right, that's it. Yeah, everyone has it. Uh, Kevin B, I could do right. Okay, this was for uh, Lisa Wang. She wanted a back test on the S and P um, versus the N um, versus the uh, Nasdaq. All right. Okay, there you go. Now the uh, the S and P is in blue, the Nasdaq is in red. Um, but the reason why I prefer the uh, the uh, the S and P over history. Remember, the Nasdaq is very very tech weighted at the moment. Uh, things will things can change. Things can change, and, and uh, that's from two thousand eleven. Um, if we did it back further, I think you would see that. Well, it, it can't go back further. That's these things were created at different times, but. Um, since 2011 to today, the NASDAQ has done better. But uh, you can see it's a lot more volatile, but it explodes as well on uh, on big tech. This was the Tesla This was the Tesla run here, but then it's pulled back. See that? Uh, long-term investment, long-term, if you're trying to invest, you know, for 10 years from now or 20 years from now, I think the S&P will always outperform. It always do has done through history um, since the beginning of time. But... Um, you know, there you go. You can see that you can see the difference. And this was basically EV explosion. Um, but uh, it's a lot more volatile. I still prefer the S&P, I've got to be honest. And I'm going to tell you right now, this is with having your dividends reinvested. So there you go. All right. So there you go. There is uh, Shelton NASDAQ 100 and uh, the S&P 500 with VU. All right. All right. There's, there's your comparison. I hope that helps. But yeah, I mean, I th I, NASDAQ is going to be a lot more expensive now um, because of tech exploding. I would rather have that defensive element to it. But, you know, I'd have, I want, I don't know if um, ex all the stocks that are in the NASDAQ, but um, I like the defensive stuff. So that's certainly in the S&P. Anyway, will do. Okay. Okay. I'll try that. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Mark. And I, I, I think I will do both. Yeah. Now, that is why I used to, when I was in the SNP, I used to still buy Tesla uh, and stuff like that because I... I like that. I like the element of the uh, of the tech of the tech. I do. I really do. And if you do both, then that's a really good balance, I think, because then you've got the S and P is your foundation. You know that's going to do well, and then you've got that little bit of extra tech weighted weight to it. So I think that's a very sensible thing, Lisa. I think that's a really good idea. I like that idea. Uh, I like that idea myself. I could even do that myself. I could do that myself. I like that, Lisa Wang. I could actually be convinced to do that myself. You know, I only own the S&P. I could buy the NASDAQ as well. That's a, That would still keep me impartial for all my reviews because then you get that little extra weight of tech. I like that. I could do that, Lisa. You made me think now. Uh, S&P is like the turtle in the race, slow and steady, and ends up the winner. Yes, okay, friends, I'll be back Tuesday. I have to head to the airport, off to see the eclipse. Lovely. I will be watching the eclipse. I'll be watching the eclipse, me and Leah, in the garden. Yep, here in, da here in Dallas, we watch it perfect. Um, anyway, go DB. Go DB, watch out for your review because your review um, is next, by the way. Your review is next, just so you know. Yeah, but uh, yeah, but um, Lisa, don't get don't get um, confused. I'm sure you're not. Don't get too excited by it being $35. That's not important. Whether you buy Berkshire Hathaway 
<laughs> right? At hundreds of thousands of dollars, or you buy Binky Bonk at one cent. It's about the percentage. If it grows by 1%, grows by 10%, it's the same thing. And if you're using uh, a, a brokerage like Robinhood, which allows you to fractional share, you don't have to buy a whole share anyway. I mean, you can buy $10 of the S&P. You can buy $35 of the S&P, just like the NASDAQ. So it makes no difference. The, the, uh, the price of the stock is irrelevant. It's like VU and SPY are different prices, but their growth is exactly the same. They were just set out at different times. Yeah, you have Berkshire too. You have Berkshire too. What, not whole shares, surely? Do you have whole shares of Berkshire? If you have whole shares of Berkshire, you need to be a gold member right now. <laughs> anyway, so, but of course, Berkshire, Berkshire is in the S&P as well, so... Anyway, look, it's been a really good day today. It's held up, so I'm very, very happy. Don't know if it will stay up, though. Uh, it's Friday, sell-off Friday. We got 15 minutes before the um, before the, the Friday phone-in. Um, yes, you own a whole share of Berkshire Hathaway. You own a whole share of Berkshire. Um I'll watch this weekend and give give it. Thank you, Goody B. Thank you. Pokescrow, Martin, you could buy the FTSE 100 and support us Brits. I could do that too. I've got the UK count as well. I've got the UK Robin Hood. You have 90 shares of Berkshire Hathaway. Are you being serious with me? Are you being serious? I know we've got some big traders and big investors on our channel, but that's really big. Are you, are you being serious? Are you wake? Have you rubbed my lamp? Have you woke me up after 5,000 years? You've got 90, you've got, hang on a minute, 90 shares of Berkshire Hathaway. Uh, B, hang on. 30. Very nice. Oh, 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 it's B, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I just, that's okay. I, I, I was thinking, I was thinking you got A, because uh, that's, here, let, let me show you. For, for a moment, I thought, um, I was thinking about the, the A, the A class. I thought she had this. I thought she had 90 shares of this. I thought, oh my God. Right. Okay. Now you got uh, B. B's okay. B's, B's like the S&P. Whew. You're okay. You don't need to be a gold member now. But uh, there you go. But night, let me just do that calculation. Uh, let's have a look at this a minute. Nine, is it 90? Uh, no, not class A. No. Uh, yeah, 400. Was it 90? Oh, look at my portfolio. Oh, that was good. So what was it? 90. 90 times 417. 37 grand. So you're like, I only wish I had A. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I've just done a calculation on my calculator. You're so you're like me then. You like me with the SNP, about the same. That's all right. You're about as rich as me. I want you to make I don't want anyone to be richer than me. You know, I get upset about stuff like that. <laughs> only joking. Uh I only wish I'd yeah, I bet you wish you had a eh? flipping heck. Wouldn't you, wouldn't that be good? All right? Bloody hell. Yeah. You'd be like you'd be like Warren Buffett then. 90 shares of A. Yeah, very good. Um, do you have any interest in Bitcoin ETFs? No, no. I don't see any point buying a Bitcoin ETF. I don't know why anyone would do it. The only the only reason why anyone would do it is institutions will do it. There's no point you doing it. Just own Bitcoin. I don't know why anyone would do it. I understand why institutions would buy it and retirement funds. That's why it was set up. But why would you buy it? Why would you buy an ETF? Just buy Bitcoin. There's no, there's no cost involved. It's a no-brainer. It's, it's, it's a complete no-brainer. But anyway, on Sunday, Sensei, on the Sunday crypto show, will uh, answer all your questions. Uh, I bought 130. Oh, nice. Very nice, Lisa. That's great. I love it. Kevin B. I like Iden. Uh, it's on the e AEX, but don't have any at the moment. Just following it. Asset rich and money poor over here. That's like me. That's like me, Stacey. Me and you are the same. Me and you are the same. All right. We're cut of the same cloth. I understand. 
I've got all my money invested. I've got no money. I've got literally like five bucks in the bank. My bank account is my Robin Hood, literally. And when the credit card comes out, that's it. I will use it as a bank, as a, as a stockbroker, as an investment, everything, retirement, credit card, the work. Look at this. Did I do well? Didn't he do well? Didn't he do well? Look at that. Oh, yes. This could be back up to seven. My all time high is 75.8. 75.8. And I've just bought four more shares using the margin. Should have bought more. No, I shouldn't. Four was enough. Four was enough to be able to pay it off within, uh, within the, the, the two weeks. So the dividends covers the interest. But now it's going up as well. Ooh, very good. So now are we? Now, we're still down on the week, though. 1.38, 700 bucks. If we can get that, I'll be very, very happy. The one month. Looking good, looking good. Much, much better. The three month, there's the, there's, this is when I started. So really, I'm like two and a half months. This is when I started. This is when I sold everything to be more of a media channel than to be a trader for the benefits of the, of the show and all the rest of it. But anyway, I'm very happy. If we can get back to 75.8, I would be, and, and it could happen quite quickly. Uh, it won't take much. I've got four more shares. It's, uh, it's uh, very easy to do that now. Anyway, uh, space is approaching 120. Yeah, what can I say? We've got a Friday phone in now with the biggest bull in Virgin Galactic live on the show. Well done, Martin. Still got to pass the Senate. Uh, what's this? Uh, same here. Martin, YouTube links. Uh, options on opinions on bots and cash. I how. If you become a member, I can review the stocks, do all sorts for you. Uh, still got to pass the Senate. Well done, Martin. Well done. What? Well done for what? For buying the dip. It's not hard, though, is it, really? It's... <laughs> <laughs> it was just basic numbers. I sat down and calculated how much it would cost me to pay the interest for three weeks, how much I'm going to earn on dividends, what the what the percent, what statistically the chance of is it of it going down a ten percent, and I still believe it can. Um, but um, remember, it can go ten percent down from here rather than ten percent down from where it was yesterday, and that's up two percent now. You see what I'm saying? So, you know. If it if it goes up another ten percent from here and then goes down ten percent, we're back where we started from here. So we're still so it's still worth buying, right? Anyway, it wasn't that clever, really. Just to do the calculations. Is it worth now buying the S and P five hundred? I think everyone should buy the S and P five hundred now. Everyone should buy it because it's all about me, right? If everyone buys the S and P now. I am, I am going to pump the SNP. I'm going to manipulate it. Right, and I'm going to make money. It's all about me. If only that were true. If only I could pump and dump the SNP 500. I would need trillions of dollars, but that's okay. I've got, a, I've got the LucasAids. I've got 100 of LucasAids watching live right now. 21,000 subscribers, just about. I reckon we could all do it. I reckon if we all buy a billion dollars each, we'll do it. Are we up for it? Yeah. I'm scared the Fisker, uh, Daniel Peck, I'm scared that the Fisker stock won't be in Nicola, won't be in Nicola's position. Um, well, you'll know on April the 28th, we're going to cover the news of that. Martin, news on Discord. Okay, what have I got here? Kevin B, links on YouTube. Uh, Martin, YouTube links. Okay, keep telling me. I don't want to miss it. Uh, news on weed. Mr. Mankey, okay, I'm on it. Links for YouTube, Mr. Mankey. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is good. Uh, it says there's enough votes in US to pass my <laughs> Uh
Let me just verify. I've got an SMX deal. Let me just check a few things. Okay. Right. Okay, thank you. Oh, <laughs> oh bloody hell. Oh my gosh, we're about to we're at we we're, we're going to break all-time highs today. Look at that, 745. Excellent. Right. Uh, enough of that. Uh that'll take care of itself now. Um Remember, though, it can pump just to dump, so don't chase it now. You, the, the opportunity was last night. That's why I post it on X. Does everybody follow me on X? Are you all following me on X? There's the link. Um, are you all following me on X? So, uh... Um... Right. An hour. We've got the... Um... Um, T-L-R-Y S-N-D-L. Okay. All right, right. Breaking news here on Martin Lucas Investor. Why is Tilray down and Sundial SNDL down when we've got some amazing news? Well, I'll give you the reason for that and I'll explain it too. This is very interesting. It's an interesting morning as the markets are now turning extra bullish once again. Uh, we're going to cover all of that. So what are we looking at? Let me just try and find my little button. There's a little button here. That's the one. I want to press this. We're talking cannabis again this morning. Very, very interesting. Why? What's going on? Tilray and SNDL and others are down this morning. Why? Uh, when we've got such good news to celebrate? Well, it's not exactly good news. It's, um, it's potentially a good news. And what we've got now is uncertainty first. This is the, the dump before the pump. That's how it happens. Let me tell you. So before I do tell you this great news and you do want to hear it, you're going to have to smash the like button because if you don't smash the like button and subscribe, I mean, subscribe is a given, right? If you don't, you're going to miss this. This isn't, you're not going to see this unless you liked it. Yes, it's the little fellas. The little fellas are here today. They're all excited with their mates. You've got to, I mean, you, how, how can you not? How can you not like this video when you see that? It's a cheap trick, but it works. It doesn't really. No one really cares, but I like doing it. Anyway, look at this. This is the news. And I've got to warn everybody. Congress member Nancy Mace, a Republican from South Carolina, says there's enough votes in the House of Representatives to pass a federal marijuana banking act, saying that if Republicans want to keep the House, they'll pass it before the election. As we said, election year, vote winner, people want to people want to do all this stuff. I get it. So we've got enough votes to to to, to win and get it passed, but it's just talk at the moment we've had talk for a long long time so why and let me and let me let me do more of the news in a moment so why is it going down 
It's doing exactly what we said it would do. When we brought the other video out the other day, we did a full review. And by the way, if you've missed the best review ever, so you can decide which cannabis stock is right for you. If you didn't uh, go and look at that, you need to go and look at that. Uh, links above my head, down below. I do all the best uh, uh, stocks in the sector and you can compare and find out which is the best one. Uh, I did that. Uh, it's a very detailed um comparison and SNDL actually came out on top. Uh, comments below if you disagree with me and Tilray was about third. Anyway, the, why, why are these down? Well, because when the news came out and when our video came out and the good news came out about all of this happening, the stock rallied. Germany, all of that stock, all of that news, the stock rallied. People took profits, as I said they would, and it's gone back down again because everyone knows that the government are for the government. They're not for the investor. They don't care about Sundial investors and uh, Tilray investors. They don't care about that. They care about what they want to do, right? Apart from Nancy Pelosi, perhaps, or maybe she wants to buy a few shares. Anyway, other than that, they don't really care about that, your individual shares. But it's been sold off. It's now gone back down again because people have took profit, ready to do it again. It makes perfect sense. Let's cover a bit more of the news and, and uh, have a little read in. The Safe Banking Act would allow uh, banks and other financial, uh, financial institutions to provide banking services to state legal marijuana businesses in the, in the House. Um, the measure has 112 sponsors, more than any other uh, marijuana-related bill in the U.S. Congress. In the Senate, the updated Safer Banking Act has 36 sponsors, and it was passed through the Committee on Banking, Housing and Urban Affairs with bipartisan support in September. Last month, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said it's OK. It is sorry. It's a key priority of the Senate to pass the Safer Banking Act this year. Yesterday, in an interview to the uh, the Dales Report trade to uh, Black Podcast, uh, Republican May said, I support safe 100% and would love to see Schumer move it forward. May said, I can tell you that Republicans that represent purple districts overwhelmingly support safe and then some. So if Republicans want to keep the House, it's a good bill to have on the floor. Conservative uh, con Conservatives can vote, uh, can vote, not no all day, can vote not all day long. I think that is. I think they've spelt that correctly. Not all day long. The rest of us uh, can you. The rest of us can vote for our districts, which would be um, would would support safe. And there are votes in the house to pass safe. There you go. So it's uh, it's said by a it's said by this person here that there are enough votes. So what's got happening now? People have taken profit. We had that initial surge. Why not? People have lost a lot of money on this stock, on all this sector for a while. They've taken profits. Makes sense. It's driven it back down again. And we're getting ready for the gold rush to take off again. Great. Really, really good. I love it. Very, very exciting. Uh, so it's a good chance now to get in because we do know it's going to get passed. It's just a matter of time. But it is an election year. So I'd be expecting it to happen this year. So maybe now is a good little dip for you to buy it. Um, remember, I'm not in it. I'm only in the S&P. So my views and opinions are unbiased. I'm not trying to pump anything. But I do believe my members and the viewers of this channel who love this stock, whether it's Tilray, whether it's SNDL, whether it's Aurora, any of the others, I do think uh, this is an opportunity for you to get it. The markets are up today. And if we get the bill passed by November, then potentially, potentially, it's a $40 stock. At least that is for uh, for uh, Tilray Brands. Anyway, the rest is up to you. Click above my head for that major uh, review I did of all the stocks so you can decide which is the best one. Down here in the links, it's a really detailed, like, one-hour video. Over here and over here, I spent a lot of time making it. At least you could do is go and watch it. Over here and over here, Extra Channel is about to release a one time in history. We'll never be able to do it ever again. A special moment for all members of this channel. You'll never get the chance to do it again. That's all I'm saying right now. Take care of yourselves and each other. All right. Um. Will Reddit recover anytime soon? 
at Reddit. I told everybody over and over again, Reddit was the worst, one of the worst stocks you can buy. Told everybody not to buy it. Uh, not to buy it. Uh, there we, there he is. Um, we've got Zach on the phone. <laughs> it's the Friday phone in. It's the Friday phone in, and he's ready. He's ready. He's excited. Right. Let me, uh, let me uh, assign to the green room. Right there he is, and uh, got, got his name there. Uh, I love it. Let me unmute you. I think you've muted yourself. That's okay for the minute. He's all ready to go. Shall we bring Zach's eight on the show? One of our mates, here he is. He's waving at me thinking, come on then. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I want to be on the show. <laughs> Zach's eight, Friday phoning. We used to do this a lot, but uh, we, we've not done it for a few weeks, but we're about to do it now. So uh, let's do it. Uh, let's get into the interview. There he is. Zach eight. how are you? Happy Friday, Martin. Thank you so much. I'm very good. Good that to be back. It's great to have you. Oh, well, I, I kind of missed the Friday phone-ins talking to you. We used to, we used to have a really good time doing that, and I'm glad we're doing it again today. I can see you've got the um, the uh, the the Martin Lucas Investor hoodie behind you, Virgin Galactic, the crystal ball, and I see you've got a spacey shirt on tonight. That looks pretty cool. Is that a space helmet? About astronauts. Astronauts. I love it. I love it. That's a moment for you. Oh, look at that. That look at that. The anniversary. Have I got my mug? No, I haven't got I haven't got my mug here yet. Lee hasn't brought my coffee in yet. But second anniversary, we're coming up to the third anniversary in just uh what, what, is it a, two months' time? Not very long now, about yeah, sort of six six it weeks. June twenty seventh, right? June twenty seventh. There you go. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> it was yeah, the third year, and this year is going to be extra special because we're now going to do the memberships on the extra channel, and everyone can be a member on day one as a founder member. And there's going to be some really cool stuff. I'm excited about that. Uh, it's never going to never be able to happen again, right? So uh, I'm very excited with the extra channel. It gives you extra time with you following the behind the scenes Martin with the 360. It's like a, another game watching a, your a show. Yeah, thank you. I, and it's it's going to get uh, it's going to get. Uh, sorry for that super chat coming right over your face there. Vital just detested me a super chat. Thank you ever so much, uh, Vital. I appreciate that. So if anybody wants to uh, cover up Zach's face, that's how you do it, right? That's how you do it. I mean, it's a win for me. I get a tip and tack. And, 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 happy Friday. Yeah, you know, happy Friday. Happy Friday. Are you going to? Uh, are you, can you tune into the the concert tonight for a few songs? Absolutely, I uh, bit of space music. Say, it's uh, the bell for the week. It's like the closing bell for the week and the opening bell for the weekend. That's right. The party. That's the way to look at it. I like that. I like that. Well, uh, Zach, it's it would never be it would never be a uh, chat to you without talking about of course of course space and virgin galactic because as, as you know you uh, are one of our biggest bulls you are uh, you're like me you're totally passionate about virgin galactic you love it you want to do it well are you happy with the management are you happy with the price right now just refresh everybody look at this this is what we're looking at right now let me go over to it um, the markets are green Everything's great in the market, but of course, Eric Kearney will go, well, we're okay in the current climate. It's okay. Well, uh, the, the current climate is up 30% this year. Virgin Galactic has just hit $1.23. Zach, talk to me about it. How low it. can we go? How low can we go? But uh, space, to go to space, anyone that want to buy a ticket, there is, I believe, only Virgin Galactic that you can uh, book a ticket. There is more than 800 people that book that ticket and are still waiting. If uh, I'll ask you who was on a flight from whatever company, flying company today from which city to city, every flight is full. But if I'll ask you who was the first flight ever that flew, uh, we know the Wright brothers, we know all the, uh, uh, how it starts. So here we got to start and it's not just uh, space because space bring uh, people to space. 
which is uh, tourism. It's exciting. It's uh, something that nobody else have. And that's why I like that company. I like Unique. I like something that uh, nobody else does. I'm not talking about satellites. I'm not talking about uh, missiles or about uh, uh, rockets. Uh, but all that industry is very interesting, of course, to whoever likes space. And I watch all the space movies. There is always a... Uh, uh, I just had last week, and oh my God, the moon moonfall that they drill the the moon is hollow, and they drill into the moon. What a, you know, there is so many uh, uh, ways to look at the people look at space through the years, from Star Trek and Star War, uh, and which we all love. It's uh, something passionate to all. But if we look at all of those companies and we know the penny stocks, they're all still low under five. I think the only one it's uh, has been spoke is Lunar now that uh, NASA does take care of them with the vehicle. But if we look at Lilium or a MNTS or a SIDU or a, Ro a Rocket Lab or even a Archer with the vehicle, all of those are less than five or in the penny stock, all of them trying to break out. Uh, so the space industry trying to break out and to break with people like they had every month a flight. You can't make money, you can't make product without flights. So we are optimistic about the Delta. Uh, we saw yesterday, I believe we, I put it also on the Discord. I'll sue you from the Boeing company. So space suing back, boring. You, uh, Boeing, you're boring. You didn't supply what we asked from you. You fired. We don't work with laziness so maybe we can see it in other way we demand perfection also you didn't supply what we ask you and that's why we stopped and that happened last march so it's been a year to come against this lawsuit and i believe space won't run a, a, by the plan you have a plan in 10 years with a million and it's i i'm showing this this is a moment i've been watching two years that was a moment and we're trying to achieve something so if anyone that, uh, and I'm always like that example, because in this market, if anyone bought Tesla when it uh, was in the low and kept buying it and then sold, of course, he got a Tesla in his driveway. I, I'm sure he's a fan. He's know where it's going and uh, how it will go. If I want to fly to space one day and I want that ticket to be sponsored by the stock, that's kind of my American dream. And I think it's possible, even if it will, whatever it will take. If you keep, I think when you celebrate uh, in December, when we had 1 million, uh, 1 million, um, 10,000 subscribers, you already doubled yourself in 20, more than 21. Um, and I was there. The first thing I heard from the guys is, they're not good. They're not going good. And everybody will try to drag you down, everybody. But there is, and I had 5,000 shares then, which I bought. I wouldn't fall in love also with the company if I wouldn't buy them at 32, at 34, at 40, and I sold them at 58. So I made money to know that that company had a potential. But then the corona came. And... I started my company eight years ago. I'm very busy. And I decided to drop all that matter. The corona brought me to do some, reorganize my file and concentrate of what I really learned. I like, and I think it's a good potential. So uh, investment, investor can be looked in any way, but I'm not a daily trader. So I put 200 every week and I know it doesn't affect my bank account. And... I target the money through those years toward more towards space. So, and my other investment, which I stopped, I know where I needed to stop and I put myself a limit, but I still like the day trader of uh, leaving the street. So I order with DoorDash and I go Papa John's and I go Starbucks and I still go uh, with Safeway and I leave the, I see the cars and the v vehicles is also very big industry that you talk about. So. If we're looking at the under five, again, 
Nicola and Paul Stard and Lucy and, 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 and I like that one because I, I saw Wins, uh, Vinfast. I've seen like 10 cars of them already, car that I haven't seen at all. And in one month you see 10 Vinfasts. But uh, if I look at uh, Mulan or Neo or Xpeg, XPEV is the only one above five. All of them under five, so it's a dollar stock. It's a potential. So Fiskar, if his name, you know, Nikola Tesla was a great name to come from. If it was, I think the name does have a matter to continue. And Nikola is a great name. You need a great product. And they, or the CEO has been in jail, but the company continued. That's power of idea. So I think companies with a good idea, good uh, vision will win. And still to be a potential under $5 or to do a reverse split to get back to the five, it just, you don't want to be del deleted. So I've seen a lot of reverse split. I just went one through the last week, but it doesn't make any difference about the potential and the vision and what you know. I still like the big companies that every day I go and purchase, but I get rid slowly toward uh, my goals. It's never all in. It just... Keep follow your dream. That's how I see it. That's wonderful. And I love your conviction to it. It's hard though, isn't it? When you see the stock going down. I mean, are you, are you happy, even though you love the product and you love the dream and you, you know, they, they've achieved it. It works. The customers are there. The, the actual thing works. You know, they built it. It does the job. It, it works. Um, other than ramping up, we could stay with what we've got forever. I mean, we wouldn't make any money doing that. We need the Delta to be more efficient and produce more flights. But, you know, if we wanted to, we could fly this one uh, every month or so. We know that. It works. Do you not think, though, that the management could do a better job? What I mean by that is we just saw last week Levi rallying because of Beyonce do it, bringing out a video and drawing attention to the stock, making it fun and exciting, and boom, up goes the price. And it's you know, Levi is doing great right now. Virgin Galactic have celebrities ready to fly that will draw attention to it. And when I spoke to Eric Kearney, he said, we don't want, we don't want to draw attention to those people. We want everyone to be a celebrity, everyone to be a star, and all the rest of it. And I understood that. However, right now you need a bit of publicity and no one really cares that Fred Bloggs the Dustman is going on the flight, but they would love it if it was Elon Musk or Taylor Swift or somebody that's, you know, in the public eye. And they've got those people on the list. They could fly them tomorrow, next week. There's no, it, it just breaks my heart seeing such a great, product and i say great product not a great company because it's i think the management are awful i think the product is great the need for it is there the desire is for there the customers are there and it doesn't need to be a, this shouldn't be a a, a one dollar 23 cent stock this should be at minimum above the cash value at the at minimum at least two dollars a stock which is the cash value of the on the books so at four dollars you'd have a little bit of goodwill there because of you know what whatever. Um, and, and, and then, and then there's, you know, the stock is a lot more attractive and more people would want to buy it and so on and so forth. Do you not think that the management are letting us, letting the shareholders down and paying themselves, remember, in stock options? It suits them that it goes down. It suits them. They love it. Now you like it when it goes down too. We all like it because you buy it cheaper. I get it. You know, if we can buy it for one cent, why not? But remember how low is too low? Because at some point they run out of money. They can't borrow money. If you're, if you're not worth anything, no one's going to, no one's gonna have any faith in it if it gets any lower, really, to be fair. Because under a dollar, it gets very, very risky indeed. It, it can then potentially be delisted. So we all agree the product is great, but do you think that management have let us down and they could do a better job? About 15 years ago, I had a penny stock worth one penny and I uh, bought about $300 that turns to $3,000 in uh, 10X. Uh, that was in uh, Florida. I think I went to the place to check what it is and there was nothing. That's why I sold because I, I saw the volume I was into it. Today, 
uh, into your shows, meet the CEO. I have my own company for uh, nine years and I'm running 20 to 50 projects on the con construction. I got more than 200 crews, generals, and not talking about myself, running a business, you need to keep on uh, producing uh, uh, your product. And you need to keep be uh, efficiency. The flights are the most important. If I look at the company in the size of an investor, the company does not does much, but there is not much to do. If I look at the uh, putting a celeb, no, because then it will be pump and hump. Uh, because if the celeb will jump it right to 20 and then it goes to two again, that's the pump and hump. I'm looking for a solid growth, solid news and they mentioned the sixth flight last year they met, they did exactly what they planned when we did about the holo like you could say the sleep go to sleep for a half a year i don't mind to go to sleep for half a year you keep need to you need to keep us updated and they do have only x they i'm i'm, I'm not expecting for a, a, the names that doesn't matter i'm just asking to book the flight show me there is a flight that book that book every flight become like a the, the the next story and that's the news so because of this specific space category it is very one-to-one -one, and that's absolutely the change or the pump and hump or the yeah it can be a second in a penny it can be in a hundred based on that news i think they have a plan and they keep going with the plan I was shocked yesterday that most of your uh, a viewer are not even a space holder. And I understand because it takes time. So are you in and out? And I like the game. I used to like the game. Today, I'm, I like my business and my invest my, uh, uh, my job. But I still keep aside and I spread it towards space because I think, yes, the price is attractive. And if you buy, like I said the other time, 100 shares in $2, which is 200, or you get to 100 and you buy in, in, in uh, two, it's the same 200. So if the potential is there and the delta, it can go to 1,000. So it's just a potential, but it is flying. It is a great idea, and I don't see any other company that can take me to space today. I take your point. Uh, when you talk about if you got a celebrity, it could pump and dump. You're absolutely right. I think that would happen. I think you're right. If we got a Tesla, if we got an Elon Musk or a, or a, a Taylor Swift on on the flight, I think everyone would buy it, see it as a real cheap option, maybe $10 and it's straight back down again. And that's not good for a stock. That isn't good. Good for the traders, of course. People make money. But uh, no, people wouldn't like that. I, I agree. And I like the idea of what you're saying. St solid, stable growth is better. Um, but um, it's just it's just heartbreaking to see such a good company and so many people really, you know, it's the retail investors I care about, my viewers. I don't I don't care about the institutions. I certainly don't care too much for Eric Kearney and se se several of the, the of the board members uh, that are paying themselves all these free shares that they're getting for nothing right now. But I do care about people that like you who really care about this and to see the stock continually go down. But it's what worries me. Uh, is technology, and a lot of people have mentioned this, and it's w maybe why some people have sold out, is right now, and, and you started the, uh, the conversation at the beginning with me, saying no one else does this. It's, it's unique. It's proprietary. It's, it's, it's incredible. And it, re it really is. And the Delta is going to be even better. They want to go higher, I believe. They want to go further into space. All these things are going to happen. However... Are you not a little bit concerned, though, over the period of time that this has taken? Remember, it's been many, many years since we first started Virgin, many, many years. Technology is improving and we're landing on the moon and we're going to Mars. Someone's going to pop up and all of a sudden some unknown company from China is going to go, we're doing space flights tomorrow and they'll just appear from nowhere. That, what, that worries me because people are watching and knowing the future is space and a lot of people are trying with balloons and so on. I don't think that's the way forward. But there's going to be some company all of a sudden is going to pop up with a rocket that can do exactly what Virgin Galactic can do. Does that not scare you? Uh, no. 
There can be more uh, companies that can come and compete Tesla and try to do electric uh, car, but they've done it. They yeah, flew to space. They, they, I think it's the most exciting ride. I still think if anyone that will go up there will bring the experience. And as a matter of fact, the Delta will have two, three, four flights a month, uh, maybe two Deltas, maybe double the... And again, there, when there is a lot of flights, you don't know, you don't care who is the six people in there. You know, it's it's a business. Now, it's very concerning when uh, Richard left, of course. It's uh, the, the main people that brought that interest uh, are gone, everybody. But the idea and the technology and the facility and the ability to upgrade is there. The mine, I think, is also there. I'm not disrespecting uh, anyone that works with that company, if he still worked there, because they fired a lot and they did uh, listen to the petition and did cut some workers last year. And this, uh, so they did it twice. And I think uh, a spread in uh, California, in New Mexico, and in Mexico, it's in uh, Arizona, sorry, it is cost. It's a cost. There is a lot, a lot of money that goes every day to the people uh, who are working there. Once I was at the facility in New Mexico, there was no workers. There were few inside. Of course, there is uh, always somebody, but uh, it was almost empty at all. It was like my place. It was joy. But I'm sure when the people and the flights are coming and we could see it, the place is... Uh, energy of levels that uh, even to look at it people your viewer going to kennedy watching following i love that channel because you did brought the space fans each one of your subscribers and each one of your uh, does have an interest with all those uh, unique uh, categories and uh, subjects we're talking about so it does touch each of us i drive a lot so i listen to you and it's very interesting to see how every time it comes from a different uh, direction and you bring it into, okay, uh, 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 nobody's insane here. We just keep it uh, as it is. Those are the news. And I love, uh, once again, it's uh, not just to be a, a member and a, and a viewer. I, I just love to share even wherever I go. It's like, that's entertainment. That's uh, something that wants you enjoy or it's benefit yourself. I live to enjoy myself and enjoy the, the, the things that makes me happy. So thank you for that. If space will make me happy, that will make me happy. If not, it's a good uh, way of keeping the uh, following. I don't need any penny of the shares or everything that has been invested is uh, aside and just a future plan for uh, none of that needed right now. And I'm sorry if people uh, did put their money on a high cost. And, you know, I know my mom, I'm holding forever. She's holding from such a high price. She never bought again, but yeah, it will come back. She's holding, holding. And I'm, I'm like, it's okay to sell sometimes, you know, but uh, that's again, if you're a fan, if you really search and like some company and you're buying it, keep holding and keep, that's, uh, keep follow Martin. He will give you the news and, it's just right there. So I, I enjoy I enjoy that. Thank you, Zach. It's always a pleasure to have you on the show. I've missed the Friday phone-ins. We should uh, we should start doing it again. It's it's always good. It's open to everyone. Oh, any of our members can join in and be part of the conversation with Zach and myself. And uh, we'll, we'll we'll hope to do this again, uh, Zach. We're at one. Yeah, Mike, I miss Mike and Stephen. And yes, got, uh, Mr. Bond is amazing. Also, when <laughs> oh my god and. We are, it's like and everyone that uh, comes in just brings so much knowledge, so much fun. And uh, yeah, it's just uh, about 12 hours from here to there. So now we double the fun, you're saying, huh? We double the fun. We, uh, we have $2.99 monthly last year, and now it will be for the other $2.99 too, the same as uh, to, to be a, a member, right? For the I, extra. The extra, I'm going to do it for 99 cents. <laughs> I 
I know. I'm a member. I remember. <laughs> the I the idea of it is I just want to help people as much as possible, you know. And uh, anyway, it's it's I'm always looking at it how it can benefit the members the most. And uh, the passion for the channel now is so, uh, and, and the members are so dedicated to the show, and they watch every day, all day. But many have just joined last month, last week, a year ago. You know. Not everyone can be a founder member. They weren't all here at the beginning. However, with the extra channel, we've got that one moment in history when we can start it all together at the same time. So I want everyone to be a member. So 99 cents, everyone can be a member and everyone can join on the same day. So every time it goes to a month or a six months or a year, we all do it together. So in 10 years from now, everybody will be a 10 year member together. Apart from, of course, those that join afterwards, but we're trying to bring all the founder members, the people that built the whole thing, the opportunity to be there on day one for 99 cents. I don't know how to do it any better than that but uh yeah Amazing. I mean, less than 12 dollars a year i know wow. maybe maybe i should charge more <laughs> yeah, it's a business I, I know the thing is when you look at it when you sit down and think about it right there are you know imagine if you have a thousand members right and it's a it's a it's 99 cents right that's that's like a thousand bucks a month but if you make it one dollar more it's nothing to the individual, but it's $2,000 a month to me. It's right, but that's thinking about me. And the channel has done what it's done because it thinks about the people. It's very easy to go, well, hang on a minute. It's only a dollar more, and now I've got $2,000 a month. <laughs> no, the idea is think about the people because I think that, you know, if we get a million members, you know, it's a million bucks a month, right? I mean, I mean, you know, hang on a minute. I could have two million. No, it's, I, I want it to be about what's best for the members. So, uh, but to don't, don't tempt me too much because I might change my mind. <laughs> uh, that's right. I got something, a uh, story you had about the guy that will come and knock on your door with electric uh, tools to do your yard or with the oh, gas yeah. tools. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I have a I have a comment. I uh, as you know, I came December to Texas to uh, my in-laws, and taking care of their yard brought me into uh, two different machines. One was the electric uh, uh, blower, and one is the uh, uh, on fuel blower. So I'm starting with the, of course the power, and I'm listening to Martin, and I'm going for about ten minutes. And I did buy the best battery and I did buy the best uh, condition, but the yard is huge. 10 minutes, I can see one point down. 20 minutes, I'm out. Wait a second, 20 minutes, I got like, charge it? Okay, charge it. So I'm charging, sitting, relaxing, meanwhile, taking the fuel one. Work, 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 finesse, finesse, power. <sighs> The sense of the fuel burning and the, the, the finesse, the corners, the edges, the, the electric glow fast. So the battery charges and I'm going another 10 minutes, the battery, okay. And then 20 minutes, it's gone. Wait a second. Let's go buy another battery. All right. I'm going to buy another battery, just like my workers. They got charges all just over. Just replace it, yeah. Batteries all over. That's how I remember my job. So I'm doing it myself to my in-laws. I'll do I'm getting my another battery. I'm working on two large batteries. So I got 20 minutes, recharge 20 minutes, five hours, five hours. And I love the five hours because that's the finesse, the beauty the artistic uh, touch that makes the yard look out of this world. <laughs> so hybrid. I think that's the hybrid. Again, experience. You got to get both. Yeah. A lot of people now are, there's a, there's a big debate now, isn't there that uh, is EVs really going to be the future? There's uh, we're starting to see Ford. Ford are not doing EVs anymore. Um, 
and uh, people are starting to look towards maybe hydrogen. Look at what Nikola are doing. Uh, do you think that um, EVs, electric electric battery cars, are an, an electric power is the future, or there'll be something else? What do you think? Once I look uh, living in California, once I look uh, about this uh, 15 years ago, everything Toyota Prius, I think everywhere, Toyota Prius brought the first idea of the hybrid. They were really big success. I, uh, I, I said it uh, not as a commercial or making anyone happy or for these companies, but I do own Toyota forever. And it does give me uh, basically six years with 300,000 miles. It's been like for nine, uh, for three times, it's about 18 years that I'm going six years uh, with 300,000 miles and then the engine died. So it gives me the benefit of what I need, which I drive a lot. Yes. And uh, uh, when I look uh, again into the EV and all the, it's a, it's a change. It's a difference. It will come back. It will come in, but hybrid is kind of, again, I feel the mix is, is kind of keeping balance between those two worlds. It's not, no, I'm not left. I'm not right. I'm in the center. I'm kind of, I, I like both sides. And yeah. Can I just uh, talk to one of our members just a moment? Am I right in saying Ed Nevius has just experienced an earthquake under his house? C can I just confirm that? Um, it seems like Ed Nevius may have experienced an earthquake. The shop shook and my wife said whole house was shaking. Uh, he's still with us. So obviously he's, he's here and he's got internet and, uh, that's obviously good. But, uh, can I just confirm, Ed, are you okay? Have you, have you just experienced, uh, an earthquake in your house? Uh, I'll just stay with, uh, just, I want you to come back to me. Um, that's always scary to hear. We had a, we had a, Zach, you were going to say something then. With the reason I'm here in California, the earthquake place the world is shaking and we 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 got to get better well the, the thing is zach better. i think i often think about this and i think people often often uh, forget how vulnerable and fragile life really is and i often think of this when you it's all perspective if you're a fly, a tiny little fly, the world seems very different to you. Uh, if you're a human, it seems like this. If you're a massive super giant, like a mile high, the world seems a different place, right? It's all about perspective. and the, re the But the reality is, us little tiny humans, we live on a tiny, tiny wafer of uh, safe zone, right? If the world spun like 1% faster we'd all be crushed. 1% slower, we'd all zip off into space. And if you look at the space, because I know you love space, and I do too. My godfather was Kenny Baker, R2-D2, as you know, at Star Wars. If you look at space and it goes on forever and ever and ever, there's only this tiny, tiny, tiny wafer-thin level of where humans can exist. And that's not just going outwards into space. It's going into the ground too, because basically we're a giant burning ball of lava in underneath the planet, underneath our house. If you dig down a long way down, you're going to find a big ball of molten lava. And we're all sat on top of that. So we're literally underneath the planets that could come and smash you and crush you. Or we're about to get set on fire because we're sat on a bloody great ball of gas. So it's quite a miracle, really, when you think we're actually here and I'm talking to you today. Because one slight little alteration in that whole ecosystem and we're, we're not here anymore. What do you make of that? <laughs> Um, I think everybody make mistakes. Everybody does uh, do uh, uh, like uh, with experience. We, we don't, we never get old, we get experience. So it's not problem to make mistake. The most important is to fix and correct your mistake as fast as you can. So it's not like we're driving and after five hours, oh, it's a mistake, let's turn around. It's like after one minute, let's turn around. So you didn't waste 10 hours. US 20, that's where 
I see that things, as you mentioned, double them up once you're in a good path and uh, you can get the feedback back. And this is a, a very interesting world to live with because the people are uh, having hopes and expectation and one small mistake can cost the bridge in Baltimore, which I used to live in Maryland, is catastrophe. When the earth make mistake and uh, we get earthquakes and uh, tsunamis, and it's, it's, it's terrible. The people are so horrible and there is nothing you can do. All the big minds, and I love some even uh, people that gone in a matter of very, very, you bring the songs for them and it's very sad. You cause me crying with your mo songs for so many times. It's like very emotionally attached when you really like something and he's gone from this world. You, uh, I think yesterday uh, also one of the viewers said, his grandpa said that space is the place between your ears. <laughs> and it's very interesting because I've been thinking about, you know, about that, that it's the brain. But, you know, then I talk to my wife and she tells me, you know, it means that you are stupid or dumb, sorry, because there is nothing, the space. So yes. you can see things in different way. I see it, wow, the space is the, between your ears. This is the smartest place, that, that my brain. <laughs> but then, no, you don't. Yeah. It's Zach, it's Zach, it's always a pleasure talking to you, having you on the show. Uh, Seth Houston just said, yes, I just felt it. Uh, Seth Houston has just felt the earthquake. Um, uh, Salty Biscuit, uh, wow, yeah, I wonder if that's part of the new Madrid. I'm not sure what that means, but uh, Seth, uh, Seth said, for all religious people here, if you are... If you're, if you are all this bad going on in the world, will soon change. I believe after the um, the eclipse, everything will start turning for the better for humanity. I don't know why. Let me just tell you a little bit about that. It, on Monday, the eclipse, uh, the the um, the uh, uh, what was it called? The channel, the track of totality. What is it called? The something or other. The track, the channel, whatever it is. Totality will pass over my house, right over where I am now in Dallas, which is moon great. Eclipse, moon eclipse will show you the ring. Yes. I want to see that yes. ring shining, the yes. diamond ring. Let, wow. me, let, let, me, let me tell you, because I've experienced it once before. It happens a lot different parts of the world, but it's very rarely it happens over your house. So, you know, you're in totality, right? But it happens all, all happens, you know, every, every few years in different parts of the world. I experienced it in England uh, about 10, 10, 15 years, and maybe 20 years ago. And uh, it's over very, very quickly. So I want to say something really great about it, but I also want to just put it in, I, I want to just calm everyone down a little bit as well. It's an amazing experience. If you get the chance to experience it, you really want to, but don't believe what the media are saying, that your whole area is going to come to a standstill because they're trying to sell T-shirts, they're trying to sell TV, they're trying to sell hotels. The news wants to report on it, which is, of course, they, they, they're just constantly selling the news. It, it, it does get a bit of a frenzy. People get a bit overexcited, even though you should get excited. The media try to cash in on it. Uh, and it's why I'm not going to be going live for the eclipse on Monday. I'm going to be live, but it's not going to be an eclipse show. I'm not going to try and cash in on it. We're going to do what we do here. But let me tell you, uh, taking the hype out of it, it is brilliant. You want to experience it. And what happens, What I what for me, the, the best part is... You see how nature is connected to the sun and the moon and the whole thing, right? And what I mean by that is it's not too many people are focused on. It's about uh, seeing the sun go behind the moon and it goes dark. Well, that's true. And you do get that and you do get the ring and you do get the diamond ring and you get all that. That's great. But it's what actually happens to nature and the planet while that's occurring is what's amazing. And what happens is, and this is coming from experience because I've lived through it and actually had it happen to me, um, is as, as the moon crosses the sun and it goes dark, it goes dark in a, in a way you've never experienced before 
okay? Because you've never, if you've not experienced this, it's not a normal daily occurrence, okay? All of a sudden, nature, the, the animals, the plants, the insects, the birds, and the fish think it's nighttime. They're not like us. They, they, don't, they don't go, oh, it's a solar eclipse. I'll just carry on, right? They think it's nighttime. And what happens if you're outside in a woods or a field or in nature, which is where I watched it, you see the animals go and start to go to sleep. You see birds going into their nests and, 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 and roosting. And then, they, and then when it's over, they all come back out again. You see nature reboot. You see nature shut down. And I remember because I, a bird flew into a hedge and it crashed into my head. It got all excited. It didn't, it didn't know what was going on. It went to sleep, then it woke up again and it, it came out of a tree and it bashed into my head. Anyway, I remember that. But um, it's over very, very quickly. People get like, oh, was that it? It's very, very quick. It doesn't last very long for the actual main moment. But it, if you can be in a place where you can experience nature, you will see that animals and all these things go to sleep and wake back up again. That's one thing. And the other thing is try and get where you can see the land a few miles away, like on a hill or somewhere. Because what you'll experience then, and this is really like, Sci sci-fi and Star Wars and you'll like this sack is you'll see the shadow of the moon racing across the planet at 2,000 miles an hour. But you need to be on a hill and you need to be able to see like land like, a few miles ahead because it's you've got to see it move. And what you'll see is a shadow, like you see shadows of the clouds, you know, when you see a shadow on a, you know, you see a shadow on, on the ground of a cloud, right? You will see a line go vroom across the ground. You'll see the moon shadow and it will give you an, it will give you uh, the, the experience of how small you are and how big the planet is. Even it's, even though the moon isn't that big compared to the giant planets, it will give you an impression of bloody hell. I'm part of something really big because you'll see the shadow of the moon go zipping across the ground, but you only experience that if you're up, looking across, and you can see the land in front of you to experience that. Otherwise you're already in it and you don't see it. But uh, that's a, a I that's won't a, be able to experience it in the California, but if any one of your members, and you know, you give us a stage to express and be on your show. So if anyone does have ability to take video, maybe on this, I would love to see any, anyone that in that line to publish or show it even on this a few minutes after, you know, just to, Captured the moment. I, yeah. I'm sure we're going to see a lot on YouTube and absolutely. Oh, of course. On. Yes, of course. It's every going angle, to be. but yeah. live and few minutes after, it's like, it's exciting. I love those moments. Yeah, we'll it really, it, 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 it's really worth experiencing. Uh, and uh, what we, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing the opening bell as as normal. Uh, on Monday, uh, but the closing bell won't happen because the closing bell is at the time it's happening. Uh, I think the closing. Oh, I beg your pardon. The closing bell, I think we'll just go like a, a little bit later or whatever. Um, but um, I, I'm going to be I'm going to go, be going out in the garden with Leah, my wife, and we're going to watch it. Um, she's never seen it before, but I've seen it. Um, and don't get to, also don't get too don't get too um, excited. I shouldn't probably say this because people will go. That's not very responsible. Everybody knows you can't look at the sun because if you've ever tried to look at the sun, I mean, people keep saying, don't look at the sun, right? You need glasses. You can't look at the sun. Have you ever tried looking at the sun? You, you, you blink and look away. You, you can't do it, right? Have you? <laughs> it's impossible, Zach. You can't do it. You can't do it. Yeah, with I, I like with sunglasses. You, you know, can't do like, it. So, do, so yeah. everyone's trying to, everyone's selling these glasses so you can look at the sun. A lot of people are making a lot of money out of these glasses, which aren't that good, by the way. You don't have to have the glasses to experience the eclipse. I didn't have the glasses and I could see it because when it when it eclipses and the, and the little diamond ring comes, you can look at that. You can see that with your naked eye. There's no problem. It also makes you rings. It also gives you wrinkles. Hey, but you know what, Zach? The wrinkles aren't a problem. Those wrinkles round your eyes, they are the stories of your history. They are. Mm -hmm. If you don't have any lines, you've got nothing to tell anybody. If you've got lines around your eyes, we call them crow's feet in England, right? It means you've got history. You've got stories to tell. 
You want so lines you on your face. In, you can read in your eyes like you can read in your uh, hands. That's right. That's right. More lines, the better. It means you've done stuff. It means you've walked a thousand miles. It means you've wore your shoes out. You don't want a perfect face all wrapped up in cotton wool. It should be haggard and busted by the time you die. Because <laughs> then you've Very used it. I love it. Then you've used it, right? Anyway, Zach, it's always a pleasure talking to you. Thanks for calling in, mate. Love you to bits. Happy Friday. Very great to be with you. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't meet you when you came to Dallas that long, that last time. Uh, I, I would like to meet you at some point. Uh, 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 so if you, get, if you get come again, I'll, you know, I, I would love to meet you. It was a French restaurant. Phenomenal. Every I missed December, out. I missed out. Wars, we do it for a few years. It's like a, a whole month. And hopefully, the, yeah, this year, every year. Well, that's, I hope it, I would love it. For those who don't know, Zach called me up and says, I'm going to be in your neck of the woods in Dallas, down your way. Uh, I'm, I, I want to take you to a restaurant and buy you a nice tomahawk, st tomahawk steak. Can you imagine it? The bet. Oh, oh, I was like, oh my God. And I never got the chance to go, but I, I will, it will happen. So get ready for that. <laughs> I have a, I still have a picture of the tomahawk too. Oh. I, I didn't give up the tomahawk. I had the tomahawk. Lovely stuff. <laughs> Zach, thanks for calling in. Take care of yourself, You're mate. You're welcome. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you so much for your show. Pleasure. Bye-bye. There was Zach Zate once again calling in on a Friday phone in. Absolutely fantastic. Always love talking to Zach. And uh, it's great to see his passion for Virgin Galactic as well. Staying there, he's not giving up. I love it. Let me read uh, some of the comments. Let me just come out of Virgin Galactic just for a moment. Wow. Wasn't I right to buy the S&P when I did? Wow, 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 wow. Wow, 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 wow. 74.7. There we go. Uh, 75.8 is the all-time record. But of course, we've now got four more shares of the SNP. So we've got more chance of it going up quicker now because I've got another four shares contributing to that. That's fantastic. That couldn't have worked out better. There you go. Um, Let's read some comments uh, that I may have missed. Um, best stocks to buy, the New Madrid. Thank you for phoning in, Zach. Great to see you. Wishing you all the best. Oh, wow. New York City building shook. New York City building shook. Some of kids homeschool and some do not, but I'm keeping them at home to watch. Uh, they may never see it again and it won't. And I want to be part of it with them. My kids. That's right. Wonderful. It's so crazy because two days ago, Taiwan was shaken as well. Don't forget to get dark sunglasses to watch the eclipse. <laughs> we just talked about that. Pulling out my telescope for the eclipse, Seaster S50, all in one smart telescope. Great. I have some for my kids. Uh, facts. I agree, Martin. Lines should be beautiful. There you go. I've got loads of the buggers. Right, load of the buggers. I will walk 500 mile and I will and I will walk 500 more. I will walk 500 miles in a tonight on the show. Yes, the proclaimers will do it tonight. So can someone tell me what is a form S1A? Can someone tell me what a, a an S1A? It's just gone off my it's gone off my head for a minute. I'll just come come back to you on that one. Um thank you Zach. Thank you, Zach. Take care, Zach. Oh, we were all concerned for you there, Ed. Are you okay? Always protect your eyes, banana heads. Even during solar eclipse, you can damage your eyes. It's only safe to watch with naked eye or a telescope when the sun is fully covered, when you see a little. That's right. Light pearls popping up. Put glasses on or filter. The bulls have not given up yet. My face looks like a map. There you go, Mike. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> All right, let's go through. The S&P is soaring today. Absolutely fantastic. Verg so look at my portfolio. I bought four more last night. Uh, 74, 7, 75, 8 is the all-time record, but we now have four more shares. I didn't buy any more than that because it might go lower. I don't want to pay too much interest. Uh, I want to, the, the, the four I bought will be covered by the dividends I earn uh, in the three weeks that I need to borrow the money for. 
Uh, so that was enough, all right? And I'll pay that off. But uh, it's very, very nice to see it go back up again. Uh, very, very nice indeed. Okay, I've got more reviews to do today. Um, I think I'm going to end now and come back early with the reviews. Um, so, uh, and the, so we've got SPCE... Um, uh, chat as well. A lot of things here I didn't write down the times for, flipping heck. Right, what we're going to do then is uh, let me just check something. Um, let me just check something a minute. Got a wonderful rumble audience this morning. What additional steps do people take to evaluate a company stock beyond an alpha spread review? Oh, there's way more Habak24. I'm sorry you, you commented a while ago. Um, I think that's all explained in my reviews videos. Have you ever seen my review videos? I do post them now to Rumble as well. So hopefully you've seen those. But that should explain it. Uh, if not, please ask again and I will try to answer it. Um, let me just double check something. See if it's happened yet. Got a big moment about to happen on the channel. No, not yet. It's imminent. It's right at the imminent moment. Okay, so what we're going to do now is um, I've got to get off. I'm going to send everybody to the extra channel. Uh, it's about to get a major, major upgrade boost. A one time in history. It'll never, it can't ever happen again for all the members here. It can never, ever happen again. So make sure that you are ready for it. If you're not, it, you, it, you'll you never be able to do it again. And as I explained in, in uh, wow, I can't believe how much it's going up. This is great. Absolutely great. Look. Oh, 748, 1,000 to go. And we've hit another all time high with four more extra shares. Another $2,000. That's really great. Um, anyway, uh, it's something. Oh, uh, hang on. Did I do Fisker? Did I do the Fisker news? I did the Republican Congress. I did that. I don't think I did this. Right, I missed this out. I didn't do this. Um, oof, it's really going. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to read always. Okay, Fisker. Okay, I'm going to do this now um, at the end. FSR uh, at end. Okay, here we go. Breaking news here on Martin Lucas Investor. The markets are turning bullish once again. Uh, I bought some more S&P last night, but this is about uh, Fisker. Got some news for you. We're just a, a week or so away, maybe like 10 days away. We're going to hear from um, Fisker about the uh, the reverse split. And I've got, got some more news that's just come in. I'm going to share this with you right now. Uh, some good news. Just to let you know, there's more information brewing with Fisker. It's not all over just yet. Fisker, an electric vehicle ma manufacturer, is actively exploring a range of strategic alternatives to enhance its financial position and future prospects. Apologies, I'm going to look on the mirror screen. The text is very, very small. The company has enlisted the expertise of Deutsche Bank and PGT Partners as financial advisors to guide these efforts. The announcement based on a recent SEC filing indicates that Fisker is considering a wide array of options, including but not limited to restructuring both in and out of court, various capital market transactions and the potential sale of assets. The strategic alternatives under consideration also extend to refinancing the company's existing debt, issuing new equity securities and other strategic transactions that could influence the company's trajectory. However, Fisker acknowledges, acknowledges the presence of significant uncertainties and risks 
associated with these potential moves, particularly in light of current market conditions. Current market conditions are good. Uh, even though we might expect a pullback, we are up again today. The markets are good and up 30% over a year is hardly a bad year. The company cautious that there is no guarantee that any of these strategic strategies will be viable or, or executed on terms that are favorable or at all. So we need to be aware of that. The electric vehicle market has become increasingly competitive and companies like Fisker are continuously seeking ways to adapt and maintain a solid financial foundation. The measures under consideration are aimed at strengthening Fisker's position in this dynamic industry, even as the company faces is the challenges of a volatile market environment. Investors and stakeholders are advised to note that the exploration of strategic alternatives does not necessarily indicate that a definitive decision has been made, nor does it ensure a particular outcome. Fisker's exploration of these uh, options reflects a proactive approach to managing its financial and, and operational strategy, ensuring that the company remains agile and responsive to changes within the industry and broader economic landscape. So, again, this is just out just a few hours ago that uh, Fisker, it's still not over. It's still not over. There are still people trading it and making money from it. And if we do get the reverse split news and it can re-enter the index, who knows? Who knows? But uh, just thought I'd bring you that information. We're on it all the time. Our researchers are sending information in. Um, as, as we get it, we'll bring it to you. Click above my head, down below in the description, over here and over here for more breaking news. Until next time, as always, take care of yourselves and each other. All right. Um, Nicola News. Uh, Nicola News. Has it been sent in? Jay Long. You're not a member of the channel. Okay, you can't send in links. Uh, have I, got, I had some information earlier that I put out. Uh, Nicola News. We put some Nicola News out earlier. It'll be, uh, it was on the first part of the video. It will be out soon on its own video. If you're not uh, a member of the channel, become a member. You can become a researcher. Hear what's going on before it happens uh, and so on and so forth. All right. Um, I think the bears will come back for the S&P 500. Yes, so do I. I think it's going down 10%. So that's why I only bought four, because that's ultimately, I know a year from now, it's going to be up. And I bought four using margin at... Um, at 8%, uh, which is what I'm going to earn in dividends over the next two weeks of, of being in margin. So it's for free money for me. That's why I did it. But if we get a 10% pullback, which is what I think we're going to get, if we rise another 10% before we get the 10% pullback, we're back where we are today. Either way, it was good for me to, to, to buy it. I bought some of it when it was 2% down yesterday. It's now gained 1%. So that's 3%. So if it pulls back from here, I'm still... Uh, I'm still just down 7%. Make sense? Anyway, we can go round and round that all day long. It's now time to wrap up the show. I'm going to be back early with more reviews. I've got more reviews to do. Uh, so let me send you now over to 12-hour stream. Let me get these uh, videos out. And uh, I'll be back early with the, um, with the reviews. Plus... Plus, we've got our Friday night concert tonight. Every Friday night, we have fun, we celebrate. And uh, here is the uh, the music channel if you've not yet uh, tuned in. There it is in the chat. Make sure that you join me tonight for the music concert. We have, we have fun every Friday. It's a lot of fun. Uh, here is uh, the extra channel. Here is the main channel where you are now. And here is the music channel. All the links are on the top of each channel is the featured channels. Join me tonight. This is the event in your time zone. There it is. Uh, every Friday night, we have some fun. All right. Now then, snow today. Yes, uh, snow is today. Yes, 100%, Stacey Bailey. Snow will be today, 100%. I'm just taking a quick lunch break, and I'll be right back early with snow. Yes, 100%, Stacey Bailey, followed by P.I., Okay. All right. There you go. Stacy out today. 100% promise. 
Okay, so uh, let me send you now to the 12-hour stream. And the moment I come live to do it, Stacey, I will announce it in the 12-hour stream so you can jump on in and be part of it and you will know I'm making it. Right, let me give everybody the link to it right now. There you go. Uh, that's a 12-hour stream. This is behind the scenes. This is what's going on right now on the 12-hour stream. This is behind the scenes. Come and join me, and you'll be updated here the moment anything new happens. And that's it from me. All right, I'm going to get out of here nice and quick. Quick lunch break, and then I'll be right back with these videos and the, the snow review and more reviews, and then the concert this evening. All right, see you back in a bit. Join me on the 12-hour stream. Until then, as always, take care of your money, yourselves, your crypto. Most importantly, as always, Take care of each other. Bye-bye for now. Okay, welcome to Behind the Scenes. I'll see you back uh, shortly with these updated videos. And of course, I'll be back with the, uh, the reviews early, starting off with snow. All right, see you back in a bit. Okay, so the uh, the first thing I need to do is um, is just put out these urgent videos that we covered for you this morning. So that's the first thing we're going to do. So uh, I'm just going to stop the music for a few moments and uh, set up my recording software. So please bear with me. Okay. Now, unfortunately, this morning, I didn't write down the times very well, which is a, a bit of a mistake, but never mind. Hopefully, I can find it.
Right, so the first thing to do is scale up frame size. See, not everybody watches the live show. Some people watch the videos later. Bring in the compression. Also witnessed leadership changes with Steve Gursky replacing Michael uh, Loeschler. I, I, sorry if I've got that. Um, here we go now then. So, Nicola. Going to be today, I think. <laughs> like that. Can't handle the pressure. Breaking news here this morning for Nicola on the show. Got to re record these vehicles in August following multiple fires very soon. You won't want to miss the best thing ever I've had on the channel. I'm really Nicola and other things. Until then, as always, take care of yourselves and each other. Right, there's our good news for Nicola today. That will go out. Nicola investors will like that. Uh, Nicola, whoops, Nicola News. Now then, this is where it gets a bit more difficult. I didn't put the times down. Uh, FSR, did I do it straight afterwards? Um, this weekend, uh, it'll be going out this weekend. So uh, I always plug involving Fisker, Fisker, Fisker. Right. Let me just tidy that up a little bit. Thank you very, very, everyone. Lucas Gang is rolling in. Indeed. Um, I want to ask, do we have in the house? Do There you go. YouTube comes. Or done your... <laughs> should you know, Gang Fair? I just wanted you to know it was done. To promote, we have a link there to a bit. Is Kevin B here? So... Is Kevin B in the chat? Is Wadey here? Is... No, I didn't do the Fisker, did I? Not until the Thing end. for you, if you tell, to count. It's somewhere like that. Anyway, the point was, uh, that's I'm going to get about that much, around about that much on dividends by benefits you. Let me share with you, doing in this channel and uh, part of just being in the uh, Malk, James video, And it worked out so well. And it's and it's going to get better too. Today, are you calling in? So more people. Last night, I posted it on the uh, member. The ex yeah, it does. Of course it does. So now I'm going to do the... It's on YouTube. Uh, till in the SNP, so my views and opinions are unbiased. I'm not... Here we go. This is the cannabis stuff. Breaking news here on Martin Lucas. Why is it going down? Rally Germany or institutions to provide bank day in an interview to the, this year uh, for uh, to be able to do it ever again. A special. Event. That's all I'm saying right now. Take care of yourselves and each other. Right there's the Tilray stuff. Okay. Tilray News, or Safe Banking, really. Um, now there's the space. I looked in any way, but I'm like, they uh, talking about... Uh, shake that. So if anybody wants like a investor hoodie behind in, and he's ready, he's ready, he's excited. Right, let me, uh, I love it. You, I think you've muted. All ready to go. Shall we bring Saxate on the show? One of our mates, here he is. He's waving at me, thinking, Come on, then. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I want to be on the show. <laughs> Saxate, Friday phone in. We used to do this a lot, but uh, we, we've not done it for a few weeks, but we're about to do it now. So uh, let's do it. Uh, let's get into the interview. There he is, Saxate. How are you? Happy for you. There he is. Let's get into the interview. There he is, Zach Zay. How are you? There he is, Zach Zay. 
Okay. Zach Zay, how are you? Happy Friday, Martin. Thank you so much. I'm very good. Good to be Zach. back. Uh, uh, From whatever uh, had one million. The, the anyway, it's it's. I'm always fifty. I want to say something at the moment. Point. Uh, it's great to see his passion. You've used it, right? Anyway, you did. Wow, wow, wow. Every December. I missed out. I missed out. Tomahawk, St Tomahawk State. Your show. Pleasure. Bye bye. There was Zach Zate once again calling in on a Friday phone in. Absolutely fantastic. Always love talking to Zach. And uh, it's great to see his passion for Virgin Galactic as well. Staying there, he's not giving up. I love it. I love it. Okay. Going to cut that there. I'm going to put that out as a video for Zach. Uh, this Virgin Galactic discussion. To see his passion for Virgin Galactic as well, staying there, he's not giving up. I love it. There we go. SPC, whoops, SPCE talk. Put that out as well. And uh, FSR was at the end. That's when I did it. We'll try to on more. Uh, some good news, just to let you know year, is about the FSR. Uh, oh. Breaking news here on Martin Lucas in um, as, as we get it, we'll bring it to you. Breaking news. Until next time, as always, take care of yourselves and each other. Okay, so there is the Fisca. Fisca news. And all this will go out now. And, I, and each other. Now I can put the background music on in a second. Export that. Fisca news. Okay, there you go. Right. I will put you back into background music for the moment and then I can start to do the thumbnails, upload these. And when I've done them, I'll let you know and update you and uh, all the rest of it. Diddly 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 diddly. Jose, <laughs> the crystal ball, yeah. It's been a good day today. I'm very, very happy. I'm always happy. You always make money, right? There's always a way to make money. So making, making money is the easy part. Keeping it is the, the difficult part. Right, let me start. Um, let me start by uploading these first two videos. Another busy day. So that's Nicola and Tilray News. Right, I'm going to put some background music on and I'll see you back in a little while. All right, guys, I'll see you back in a bit. Bye-bye for now.